All right. Hey, what is up, everybody? How we doing? I'm getting ready to start. All right, I'm just going to fix an audio problem I have real quick. I'm here, I'm here. Hi, hello. How's everybody doing? Hopefully well, hopefully you can all see me, hopefully you can all hear me, and we're good to continue playing Breath of the Wild. No, Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> oh man, it is not Breath of the Wild, it's Tears of the Kingdom. All right, I've been looking forward to today. Today is Saturday. I got nothing else to do but play this game today. And that's what we're gonna get going. There's a moose here. Oh. He didn't run until I pulled out my bow. That's interesting. Kinda like a, uh, a Lionel. And headshot. I need that meat, don't slide off! Uh, ooh, raw gourmet meat, yes. Prize cut. Got two of them. Good, good, good. Okay, so um, I am going to be heading back up here. Uh, we ended at the, what was it, stable called? Yeah, we ended at the Snowfield Stable uh, last streams, and I've just been doing some resource gathering and uh, getting weapons, various stuff like that. So uh, I will continue with that. We'll start out with this. And I need a shield as well. We'll just use one of these. Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> Woo! Timing! <laughs> the, uh, nice thing about this version of the game, or this version of, you know, this Zelda playstyle is because of, uh, everything has utility, everything has the ability to give me cool items. I want to attack everything now. All right, here's my horse up here. So, uh, yeah, last time I skipped a couple caves on stream and I did end up taking care of those caves. So this one right here has been completed as another one that we skipped. So we're going to be heading back up to the stable and continuing on our adventure over here in the Hebra region. And we're going to be making our way to Rito Village. And I definitely need to get this shrine because I didn't, and I didn't want to do the sh shrine off camera. But because I didn't do it, I had to uh, run myself all the way back up here. And this is where my horse was, so that's great. So first thing we're gonna do to kick off this stream is a shrine. Let's do it. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I hope you all have had a great Saturday so far, and you're hopefully going to spend a lot of that Saturday with me today. If not, not a big deal. You'll always be able to go back and watch these later. Today, we also put up the highlight of the first two streams. I want to thank Rop for taking care of that for me. Uh, he did a great job. He distilled about 15 hours of play 
down to like less than 40 minutes. Fantastic job. Thank you, Rob. Uh, make sure you guys are checking out those videos and uh, commenting over there. That really helps out. Finding new people to come over here and watch me play on Twitch. Oh, yeah, I did turn the HUD back on, didn't I? Yeah, I was using it to... Uh, I was trying to track some Koroks on the, on the area that had already been, so I turned it back on because I was having a hard time uh, looking around a certain island... Not an island, but a area around Hyrule Castle when I was Korok hunting. So... Thank you for the reminder. We're going to turn that back off for the stream because I love not having the HUD for when I'm getting into new areas and really feels immersive. So, all right. Oh, there's a construct over there with a new type of blade on its head. This is the end of the puzzle. There's a door here. Let's go over and check out this guy. Just one. Ambush! All right, he gives me a charge and a soldier construct two horn with a fused power of eight. That's not too bad. Long sturdy stick. And I saw a question mark down there, so it would seem like there's more enemies. Let's go over and check out this door over here now. I think the HUD is a, a fine option. I just find myself to be way more immersed without it. Lock the lasers with something. What all do I have to work with? I have the door. Can the door come off? I don't think it can. No. Oh, thank you. I like this shirt. This shirt is so soft. <laughs> Got it up in Columbus when I was on a date with Jancy. It's like a golfer shirt or something, but it's a very, very fine leisure item. Okay, so to get through here... Yeah, we definitely are going to need to find something to block that with. I have materials I could use in my inventory. There's this. This won't be very useful to block. Um... Huh. How about that? Okay, well, that solved that problem, but now I have a whole new problem. not independently. Um, okay, uh, what am I forgetting? I'm forgetting Ascend. I can always use Ascend for something. Yes, that's what I need to do. I always forget Ascend. Every time I start playing, I forget Ascend. That means that we need to go over here and we need to use Ascend. If you ever feel stuck, use Ascend. There we go. All right. Well, this works here. I don't think there's anything over that direction. I need to explore down there for so let's go back up. Okay. Now we're here. There's an enemy down there. Can't get over here. I don't think a sin's gonna just do anything like that. But it's always nice to test. You never know. Alright, let's head down. 
See if we can get behind him. And strike. Alright, that is the other side of here. Okay. Open this door. We have more lasers and probably a false floor with an enemy back there. Oh! There's an enemy here! Oh no! Oh no! Don't just knock me into the laser! All we do is just avoid the lasers. Simple enough, I think. Hey, a few some new weapons. way too much. I, uh, between streams, I also got two stamina vessels as well. Alright, let's, uh, hmm, let's go ahead and take this, and we're gonna fuse an item to it. Go to the top, hit this button. We had some really cool parts for it, but I say we try out the construct horn. Hold. Put it down. And... Fuse it up. We got a really cool weapon here now. Awesome. All right, what else we got in here? There's a ball behind a locked door. So we're gonna need to find a key. I will fix one more thing, sorry everybody. Continue on. What we got? Some type of platform here. Goes down. That goes up. I'm curious what a sin does here. Here outside of these bars. Nope, nothing secret. Head up this way. Push that's up here. Along that side, too. This is where the ball needs to go. There's also a wing 
in there that we use to take the ball down there, it looks like. Okay. Maybe I, maybe I, did I pick up a key maybe? I'm not really sure. I haven't seen a key yet. What's up, Devin? Okay, I need to find a small key. It's gotta be down here. Oh, I bet you that, okay, I understand, I think. This, no, cannot be ultra-handed. I thought maybe you could pick that up and lift off that grate. You can't. Try to look through everywhere we can. thing I know to do is that I need to get down there to that chest. The key has to be down there. So how do I get down there? All right, that's our next step. We have to get down there. So the trick is to go down. There's no getting down this way. I guess it's the only way down I can think is through this. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's the only way down. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> This should give us the key. Love the design of that small key. And uh, we should get to be able to go in right through here. Open this door. And we're progressing. A lot of you guys figured that out on accident. Uh, it's probably meant to. You saw how long it took me to realize it, so. It seems doing it one accident might have been the intended strat. Drop this down, get this open. doing this, but let's see what's up there. Did 
Doesn't look like much. Okay. Go ahead and grab this out. Place it right here. Grab the ball. Put that on the back. Okay. And then we can launch. It's going backwards. Maybe because of the ball? Maybe we'll put the ball... Take that off. Put it right here. Okay, it seems like I just need to place it like this. Oh, ball! Oh, okay. Let it crash. Take the ball off. And place here. And that should be it. Fun shrine. Nice. Oh, man, I'm. I've been looking forward to today for so long. It doesn't feel like it's only been a couple of days since I streamed. It feels so much longer. Okay, so now that we have um, done this shrine, let's check out... We should probably do this area's tower, right? Goblins there. There's that ice gliok all the way over there that I'm a little apprehensive about going to. Maybe not quite yet. Let's head towards the tower. And we still want to head towards Rito Village, too, which is in that direction. But, I mean, we're here. We might as well go for the tower, right? Makes sense. <laughs> Let's go, Gerald. Is there a snowball here? Look at these ruins, too. These ruins are really interesting looking. Tower. Tower. We gotta go to the tower. Oh no. Oh. Why are there like ripples in the snow here? It's gotta be significant somehow. Stay focused, Eric! Tower! And then Rito Village! We will get to Rito Village today! Just gonna steer clear of that Gleok. Ice fruit, that's cool. Gerald, I think this is gonna be a uh, little too steep for you, buddy, so. You'll be okay. Oh man, look at that. That storm. I don't know if I should be trying to get this tower, but that's the plan. Lazafos. That ice weapon might be good when I head towards a warmer environment. 
But we might leave them alone for now. We're just trying to get to a tower. Ooh, this makes for a really cool ascent elevator. We're gonna do that. Hey, what's up, Bakasan? Okay. Interesting. Make our way over here. Oh, there's a little campfire down there. Tower. We're trying to get to the tower. That's all I want is the tower right now. We can explore later. Even you, little Korok. Your friend can wait. Might need to build a little... Well, I think I can get in over here. Tower! Okay. Soldier constructs over that direction. They all have that new axe that I'm currently wearing. All right. Well, the sin's not going to work for me, but I might be able to... Okay, I can just create a ladder. We need to link a couple of these together. <laughs> link. Then we can just pick this up, turn it this way, and just stick it right here. Oh, we can't just do that, no! Use you. <laughs> uh, we'll just hang you off of this. We can do that, right? Yes, we can. That was connected. Oh man, oh, it's connected down there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that works. Oh, what a crazy ability. Should have plenty of stamina to get up here. And we'll get our tower and start heading towards Rita Village. I'm not doing any extra jumps right now just because I want to make sure I can get all the way up here. So it's not a matter of time, it is a matter of skill. I think I got those mixed up. It's not a matter of skill, it's a matter of time. Alright, we're up here. Where did this bridge end up used to going? Akita Stone Grove Skyview Tower. Oh, well, we're going to be taken off pretty soon, so let's pick up this flint. Flint's good, and then we should be able to break these open, too. Whoa! Those were stacked. All right. Up the tower. Nice.
How am I liking the game uh, compared to the first, better or worse? Uh, I haven't played enough to be able to make that comparison yet. Uh, I'm just, as much as the first game, having a, a fantastic time and experience. So cool. Oh, did you see that airship behind us? <laughs> I just saw it. Okay, Tabantha Tundra. Good. And in the sky. All right. Yeah, the maze is up there in the sky, isn't it? The Tabantha maze. All right. We can't see very well, but we can glide, and since we're up here, let's check out this nearby island. The East Hebra Sky Archipelago. I haven't heard of that word in a while. This seems pretty big. I need to get to Rita Village, but there's so much to do. <laughs> okay. Like we can position these to try to get across. Get across to what? Uh, I think now that I have the tower, I'm just gonna head to Rita Village. I think that's what's gonna happen. I'm not gonna explore this yet. I need to get to Rita Village. Let's see where we are. Okay, we're up here. Hmm. Let's see. So this is where I had a death, okay. So we need to just head back this direction. Let's go ahead and just travel back. I have a destination. I want to get there early this stream. So we're here. Our horse is in that direction. I don't know if they'll be coming back towards us, but... We also have the stable here where we can just get our horse. This is the music. Maybe we get out a different horse. Why not? For a different yeah. stream. Aww. Let's board Aww. Gerald. Oh. 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 And then we'll take out Epona, who it looks like can't do any pulling. Which is interesting, but it's a very fine horse. Uh, oh. Oh. Hmm. Gotta be prepared. Oh. Epona! They are so fast. All right, Epona's gonna follow the road. There's an ice wizard over there. There is a plume of smoke in that direction. Smoke usually means, hey, come here. We really, oh, and this guy too. And you, of course. All right, let's, let's fix him up. We do need to do that. Uh, okay, let's see what special challenge we have here. Like 
in this board go up in here? It doesn't look like it. Okay, let's get some materials over here that are going to be useful for us. We're going to have a platform as a base. here as a stabilizer. Uh, bring this here. Put this on front, like so. Oh, that's not on front. Kind of in the middle. That works. And then if we just put that there, that might work. We'll just stick this on here for some weight. Try letting go. that direction. Hmm. Okay. So when he lets go... Okay, I see how bad it is. Alright. So when he let go, it fell that direction. We can still utilize our platform. To secure the front. And we can use one of these. And stick that. It's not quite where I wanted it to stick. I wanted to be as close in here as I could get it. That's not very close. That makes a type of wedge, but it's not going to be quite strong enough to hold up the way we want it to hold up. We need to give it some support. That there. This is not going to be a pretty design, but it's going to work. the other direction. Okay. All right, so let's see. How do we utilize the slide into place there? That's what we got to use. That's what it wants, right? That's got to be what it wants. There we go.
Perfect. Got a red rupee. I think we get two red rupees. Oh no, spicy veggie rice balls with cold resistance. And a sleepover ticket. Ah. All right, good luck on your next one, bud. Uh, looks like this is a monster camp up here. Looks like another distraction, but I also really like doing fights. We might get something cool. So let's see what's up. Do we just storm outright, or do we try to be sneaky sneaky? Oh, they got a trap. Interesting, they're just monster forces. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Let's find a meal. I got plenty of meals. Not that one, that one. Monster forces are down. Well, these ones are. That's a night shield. We want that night shield, baby. Let's drop this. Get the night shield. That's some good equipment. Knight's broadsword. Do we want to get rid of... Yeah, we can get rid of some of these sticks that we don't need. Pick up the broadsword. Boko Shield 10. Drop that, pick up the Boko. All right, that was the first part of the Monster Forces. I say we take this Claymore and we stick it onto this Spiky Boy. Oh. What I get hit by? Oh. That's strong. Oh. Damn, I can't see it. Okay, that's fine. Yep, go ahead. some materials. What do I got? What do I got? Go all the way to the left. I'm deep into this right now. Um, Cause you can sort by Zonai devices type, fuse attack power. 
Maybe ice cream. Freeze him up. Can do a little damage to these guys. Going down. Yeah. All right. Blue boss, Bacoblin horn. That's some good resources. All right. Not gonna pick that up. We are gonna pick up this arrow. Blue Bacoblin horn. Ages. <laughs> Maybe we just blow him up. See what that does to us. Light this on fire. Get far away. Hopefully... Far enough away in case it catches his other one too. Huh. Didn't work. What can I do? Let's see. They can be ultra handed. Oh, okay. I understand. Okay. So they don't have a bottom. So you just move them up and out of the way. Okay. I was. Almost thinking about putting them on that platform over there and ascending into them, but they're not boxes. You just take them off like that. Okay. That makes sense. Thank you, colorblind. Anything else in here? Oh, yeah. Whoa. We're really cooking in here. Spike ball hammer, soldier claymore, another boko shield of 10. It's fine, let's just go ahead and get these chests. Hinox hammer. Okay, let's drop this. Arrows. Amber, good. Got some roasted bass. Nice. All right. Well, that seems pretty good for now. Supplies always can use more arrows. I don't want to accidentally set those off. Okay, good deal. Let's go back to Epona. Oh, hey, oh no, no, I thought it was a carrot. I was like, why would there be a carrot right out here in the field? Because it's not. Check out our map. We need to head this way, yes. There should be a stable right around here. Now, they did say the bridge was out. That should still be okay with the paraglider and all the tools that we have. But the bridge is out. Monsters over that way, monster camps, some constructs that way. Lots to do on the road, but we have an appointment to keep. Good job, Epona. 
such a good horse. Really lets me just take in the scenery. Alright, we're gonna crest here. Oh, oh, oh. Some statues. One of these four. Looks like some type of Korok puzzle, but I can't tell you what it does. It looks like there's one missing, maybe? You can look around with Ultra Hand. Nothing here. You on. I'm not really sure what that one was, but we can always come back. The Bantha Village Ruins. The Bantha Village. What happened to the Bantha Village? There's a chest in here, though. Yep. Ooh, a kite shield. I love kite shields. They're so cool. All right. You have a short-lived Boko shield, but we got the kite shield now. Let's go ahead and put that on. It's a very cool piece of equipment. There was only like two kite shields in the whole last game. Or a cure. Cone. We can throw those in fires and make them get bigger. Another chest, a rusty broadsword. Soldier broadsword with power of six. Uh, is there anything? I mean, let's get rid of an get rid of a stick. Destroy these, pick up arrows. Bantha Village Ruins. Let's not use this boy for breaking boxes. Though, I'm, you know what, honestly, I'm not that concerned with breaking weapons too much. There's so much opportunity for new weapons everywhere. It's not a big deal. And I've been collecting stuff, so... Yeah, we're doing well. Come on, Epona! Come on, you can make it. Yes! Yes! Good horsey. Alright, stick to the road. Constructs. I think we're gonna try to just get down the road further. Oh, well, there's a house up here, but some cobblins are. I wonder if somebody, if people need help up here. All right. Anything on this gloom sword, do I? Yeah, I need to put something on it. What do we put on the gloom sword? I think it'll look pretty cool with this blue horn. right now. Hold. Drop. There we go. Got the plus 16. 
That's a cool looking sword. 57? We'll save that then. Let's do something else. <laughs> Let's put something on here then. Damn. Uh, what do we want to fuse there? Let's throw one of these on. There we go. That's a cool weapon. Where did that pine cone go? I wanted to try throwing it in a fire, but there's so much acorn. I this this can be a problem. <laughs> yeah. Can't get the verona. All that for not much. I was trying to get that pine coat, but it was way too windy for what I was trying to do. White jelly shield. Interesting. Alright, let's look and see what's going on in this house. I had the cobbling camped out behind by it. Is there somebody there? Maybe someone's come to help. <laughs> what are you saying? Why would anyone help us? This place is crawling with monsters. Uh, the monsters, I can't hear them anymore. Uh -oh. Come on, Jogo. What's taking you so long? Quick, you gotta unlock the door. Uh -oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, they did need some help. Uh -oh. You defeated the monsters? Uh -oh. Thanks for helping us. Mm. We took a break in here, in this vacant house, to get away from the cold, and before we knew it, the monsters had us surrounded. Hey, you should be sure to thank him, nice and proper-like. Oh. I still can't believe you came to help us. You really did save us, you know? Ever since the upheaval, there have been more and more monsters. We were trying to be careful, but... Oh. I don't know how to thank you enough, but please take this. Now hold on! You're looking around too much stuff already, aren't you? I was gonna give you a spicy elixir as a thank you gift, ah. but I'll wait until you cleared out some room for ah. it. I do know about shield surfing. Oh. Yep, thank you. Oh. oh. We can use this shield. It's a traveler shield, I think. <laughs> Used to be a professional shield surfer. I heard a rumor there was this legendary surfer somewhere in the Hebra Mountains. So I came here looking for them. But, well, I don't know their exact location. Worse yet, I took a break here and ended up surrounded by monsters. Ah! But if you need to know anything about shield surfing, at least I can help with that. Anything you don't understand about it, just go ahead and ask me. Open the door. Side quests. So they're looking for a... It's not going to be a very powerful shield. I don't really need it. Um, but looking for an expert. Here, let's talk to Jogo. Ah. Oh, I need to get rid oh. of... Hold on a second. Mm. Are you heading out? You know, I wonder if the stories of the legendary show are for true. I know nothing about them, except that they're rumored to be in the Hebrew Mountains. Might be dangerous. Uh, I got a lot of food, so let's go ahead and heal up. Get rid of these. Taking up room. I didn't... That didn't give me anything. Um, not that I need the spicy pepper meal. I still want to do that every time. <sighs> Alright, 
Give me the pepper meal. Oh. Or the elixir. Gotcha. Hmm. Ugh, you and your whining, just make more. All you need are monster parts and warm materials. I mean, yeesh. Now it's complete. Okay. Well, we've saved those people from the scary monsters. Let's go, Epona. Epona. Okay. Take your time. I certainly recognize this area, but it's much colder than it used to be. Got a camp over here. What's going on here? No on the table. That's Mushroom Quest Chronicle. My sister, Megan, and I came all the way out to Hebra in our quest for mushrooms. Thanks to the upheaval, all sorts of new caves formed around here, and they're just full of good stuff. But my sister and I aren't after bright bloom seeds or ore deposits. No, we're after that precious mushroom that only grows in caves, and you can bet we're going to find a ton of them. Okay. They definitely have some supplies up here. I'm guessing these are the sisters? So far, this is pointless. Well, things are not going well. Let's see what Link can do for him. Uh. Nat, please, I just can't do this. At least not with this cave. There are lots of other caves opened by the upheaval. Let's try a different one. This one is surely full of creatures different from anything we know, and I was already itching to go home. Uh. Come on, little sis, you can do it. I mean, we traveled all this way. We need to gather those bright caps inside at least. That's what we came for, and you can find them only in caves. We made it here safe and sound. I can't bear to leave until I have ten of them. Let's go in, please. We've got to. Uh, go by yourself, Nat. Uh, Wait, what? No, we need to go together. Uh, oh, that aroma. That soft light. Could it be you have some bright caps? I really, really want bright caps. And ten of them would be the would do the trick. Would you give them to me? Yeah. Ah. Thank you. I didn't expect them uh, for nothing, so I'll trade you this. Uh. <sighs> Another fresh home cooked meal. I need to complete this quest, so let's just use this. Give this cold resistance. Oh. Alluring things, valuable things. Looks like the gems from ore deposits, bright bloom seeds that illuminate the dark places and bright caps, of course. <sighs> Nat, you're not thinking about that, are you? And him? Ah. I'd never. Not that. Unless, you know, maybe. Mm. Right. We agree. I think. Sorry. Forget you heard anything about that. Sister secret. Uh. But... If we meet again, it'd be fate, wouldn't it? We'd have to tell him. Ah. Nat, has this guy caught your eye or what? Ah. Don't be ridiculous. This was just thanks for the bright caps. Ah. But I will say, we are scouring high and low uh, for something here in the Hebra region. We searched most of the south, and now we intend to go to the north. If we meet again, we'll tell you that secret of ours. Well, see oh. you. Let's head out, Megan. <laughs> Secret. See you around. All right, they're heading north. That completes that part of the mission. There's a whole cave in here. Oh, man. This cave has that, uh... What's it called? Bright Cap Cave. This could have special armor inside, right? Like, last time we had these cloths at the, uh, at the beginning of the cave, there was a really cool piece of armor. I 
think it was the climbing armor. <sighs> we gotta do it. We gotta do it. How does this do it? One? Yeah, one hit. Good. Lopez. Those burn. Some bright caps. Probably enough around here to collect at least ten. Nice one of these guys. Not doing great on boats. Cool. Throw something? What do you do? I know I can hit him with the bomb, but I don't like wasting bomb arrows. Just frostbite shirt, cold weather attack made for ancient rituals. This item's cold absorbing cloth produces frost in low temperature environments. Well, that's cool. Let's check out this piece of armor. Look at this, it's so pretty. Wow, look at this, Link. You look fabulous, man. Cold weather attack. So I get plus attack in cold weather. We should definitely be wearing this for now. All right, let's head up there. Actually, we could probably just ascend up here. Oh, hey, buddy.
All right, anything else in here that I might have missed? I don't see any false walls. Oh, did the like like leave a? Oh, yeah. Okay, I did miss that. The like like dropped the chest. A uh, hunter shield. I mean, it's a, not the prettiest shield, but I, I should say it's not the most hardy shield. But I actually really like the look of this thing. <sighs> Only have four. Screw it. I'm gonna pick it up. Hunter shields are cool. Let's get out of here. Alright, this puts us up here. We got some wild berries and some peppers. There's an enemy in this direction. Are we not cold anymore? I think we are. Look here. Uh, okay. I get where we are. I want to get back to my horse. Well, we am stranded. I can't ascend anywhere here. There's briars on the top of this. Let's see what's up here. And we got a blood moon happening. Oh, a shrine. And whatever that is. Okay. Well, Blood Moon's gonna be happening. Let's, uh, climb this. Actually, we don't need to climb that. Right? Nope, can't reach it. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land... Man, Zelda's really into this Blood Moon, isn't she? The endless spirits of slain monsters flesh. The world is threatened once again. Can't ascend up there. No materials to use, so we probably just need to climb it. Hey, never mind. Rocket. Okay, uh, we can fuse this to our shield. All right. And then that will give us enough boosts, I believe. At least, that's what the trailer showed me. Whoa, that goes up high. Okay, cool. Nice. Man, I'm getting so many cool shields. <laughs> I know it doesn't make sense. Well, there's the stable we were trying to get to. And things are not looking great at Rito Village. Mm -mm. The Divine Beast is also gone. Let's do the shrine.
a launching device. Rockets. A target. Okay. That's going to take us up. Okay, so we need to put this on this minecart. What's the best way to do it? So I got to admit, I did see something that I do want to try. I'm going to put it on the night shield. We're going to put this minecart on the shield and now we can skate. It's cool. Rockets. Rockets, too. We just gotta put it in a minecart and go over that way. Hmm. I understand what I conventionally I should be doing, but I want to try something not conventional. What if I take, like, this sword. Let's put this away for now. And what if I put this on a sword and I attack? Will I go straight up? Okay, yeah, nothing happens there. So it's only the shield that you can do that with. Okay. So this just doesn't do much. Well, it's worth experimenting. Imagine throwing it would make it go fast. I don't want to get rid of this weapon per se, but yeah, wow, it does. Okay, it's like a cool throwing spear in a way. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Read the newspaper. All right, we're going to head down to this stable. I 
Oh, this is where the newspaper is? Am I right about that? Yeah, the Lucky Clover Gazette. Time to collect some wood. No kindling shortcuts. My Highland Pine Code mishap taught me that. Gotta do the work and chop down the trees. Hmm? Oh, welcome. This is Rito Stable. Mm. No, it's not. It's the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm sorry. Old habits die hard. Harder than stables do, clearly. <clears throat> I just do odd jobs, so if you have business with the Lucky Clover Gazette, please ask somebody inside. This place was once a stable, and I was once its owner. But when that terrible cold wave rolled in, it froze up the business along with the rest of Hebra. Oh. Which is why the stable was closed, and the Lucky Clo the Clover Gazette has bought out the old space. I don't have anything else to... Uh, I don't have anywhere else to go, so I thought I'd try to help her out around here. Ah. Uh. Highland Pine Cones. Ah. Uh. Perhaps, due to the abnormal weather, there has been an explosive increase in Highland Pine Cones. They're oily on the inside and burn really well. Too well, in fact. I tossed one, one onto a fire for kindling, and the force uh, with which it burned whipped up a whirlwind. Yes, ah. okay, so that'll create a whirlwind off of a fire. Oh. Man, he's really really making me want to throw a pine cone right in the fire. Which we should. But we have to find one. Hot! Yeah, that does work. Anything up here to collect since we've done it? Not that I see. Say anything now that I've done that? What did I tell you about burning Highland pine cones? You have to be careful with those things, especially when there are others nearby. Good grief. You're gonna want to talk to someone inside. Oh, there's a Rito. Wow, they really did change the space up, didn't they? This is Penn. Shh. Tracy, our editor, is getting ready for our big Princess Zelda investigation. You hear about the art newspaper, right? Then you can talk to me too. I'm next in charge. Oh. Wait a minute, it's you. I gotta say, you did a good job getting out here to find us. It's quite a hike from Lookout Landing. When you haven't got wings, but here you are. Was it even easy to find this place? Yeah, this guy was in front of the tower. That's right. Oh. I'm just going to read and not actually read out loud a lot of this stuff because my mouth's starting to get a little dry. <laughs> Tracy cheated the previous owner. Ah. Okay. Traveling the world as a reporter. Ah. Hey, quiet. Ah? Bought the place from the owner. <laughs> oh. huh? I really like his pelican look. Is that pelican or I'm not really sure? Could you give me and this guy a second here? I'm always happy when people actually recognize Link. Oh. Oh, Pura asked, okay. Ah. Uh. Ah. 
someone who looks like the princess appearing in all sorts of places. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm not working for free. <sighs> What's the incentive? <laughs> New clothes? The full set of froggy armor. You can cling to wet surfaces. No slipping. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh. Okay. That's a good link. That's a that's a good deal for Link. Yeah. Hey. That's awesome. Visit every stable for leads. You'll head this all up. All right, we gotta visit every stable. Potential princess sightings. Puts on a pretty confident act, but Penn is still a rookie reporter. Ma! Gotta look out for rumors for Zelda. The archives are currently closed. Come back later. All right, Pen. Well, we got to get started. Oh. Zappa! So long. All right. We'll try to get to some stables. change up my outfit for a little bit. And I have lots of food, so no cooking needs done right now. There's a pot lid that I don't want. All right, did we interact with everybody here at the stable? There's two people. Looks like they still do a lot of uh, tree cutting here. I remember that from the first game. Alright, let's continue on. We have finally made it here at Rito Village. Just busted. Whoa. Let me guess, you have business in Rito Village as well. No way across. a pine cone to get over there, don't they? I can do that. Get out of the way, lady. Get over the ice. And we're in Rita Village. You know, this is remarkably close to what happened to the Zora tribe in Ocarina of Time. Their home was frozen, too. 
And the the Rito kind of come from the Zora, is that right? Like in Wind Waker, that one Rito girl's descendant was a Zora girl. Or ancestor, I should say. Luckily, the Zora, or I should say the Rito, are already pretty, I don't know, they, they don't mind the cold, and they, their clothes are actually helpful in the cold. They have those feather clothes, so I'm sure things aren't fantastic, but let's see exactly how bad they actually are. Pine cones here. Dragon Roost Island theme from Wind Waker Remix. Um. There's some wood right here. And then it's burnt. Let's see if there's anything under this ice. There is. Oh, whoa, there's ice, icicles? So you can break these if you want. There's a lot of treasure around here. <laughs> Cretus. It's got a statue. I don't think I have four quite yet. I might. Let me see. Two. Okay. Maybe we'll get another one here. Oh, hey! What's up, kids? Some of you have grown up. Oh. How are things going, mister? Oh. Oh. The Song of Stormwind Arc. Oh. Yeah, let's hear it. Ah. A god fell from heaven.
song is about the Ark that saved Rito Village a long, long time ago. Something bad happened then, just like it's happening now. Oh. That Stormwind Ark, is it really real? I'd be so happy if it was. Oh. It's always watching over us, high in the sky. Oh. Most of the adults aren't around anymore because of the weird weather. Ah. Man, they're doing a Stranger Things episode, these kids. Yeah! Hey! Hi! <laughs> Alright, kids. You got it. This should be the hotel. Aww. Oh no, I did it again. The beds are too soft and inviting. Ah. Uh, a customer! I wasn't sleeping. Oh, they fell asleep. <laughs> Swallows roost in. Silky soft. Let's do the Rio down bed. And let's go until morning. Because it's 12. Yeah. Blink hasn't slept for a couple of days. He needs some sleep. hearts and an extra uh, temporary stamina container. Nice. Take that. Ooh, the shrine's down here. We're gonna need to get that. Man, is it just the kids? The adults are really gone? Make a pie. I need stamin staminoca bass. Well, I don't have any of that. Slippery Falcon General Store. Oh. Uh, I don't need to sell anything right now. I got. I I collected a lot of uh, resources and got a really good amount of money. So I feel pretty confident with my money right now. Have you seen the building with the big horse on top of it across the bridge? The people there make a kind of thing called newspapers. They used to be the best customers, but the bridge is out. Oh. Oh. Bunch of caves along the road to the east. Well, let's buy oh. these arrows. What else do we have? We have oil jar. A mild oil extracted from plant seeds. Seeds. It's very versatile in cooking. It can coax flavors from ingredients. Also good for adding fuel to fire. I'll uh, I'll take one for now. I mean, I'll just take them all. Why not? Not much. Cane sugar and some goat butter. We'll uh 
Like I said, I have some money. We'll buy one. Just so that we have it. shop which they still have all the pieces of armor that's good Hi. you'll freeze solid at the peak if you don't find a way to keep warm we sell oh. warm clothes oh. the brazen beak We'll pay a lot for those ores, so will the folks at the general store. So keep an eye, an eagle eye out for ore. Okay. Can we afford this? Hi. Yeah. Totally can. <laughs> yeah. A thousand rupees. Okay. That's kind of expensive, but we can do it. New outfit. Looking good, Link. The headpiece is slightly different, I feel like, from Breath of the Wild. We're definitely showing some Rito love here. Um, we need to do this shrine before we get too far. I don't want to forget it. Ride the winds. All right, we gotta get through lasers. That was simple. stuff. Strong construct bow. I definitely needed a new bow. chest, so I think we're good. Uh, 
That's three. Sorry, bud. Here's where a shrine used to be. The shrines are all gone. Use ice fruit to freeze monsters solid. You can. Which gave me an amazing idea for an invention. My problem is I can't go out to pick fruit right now with the blizzard and all. Ice fruit. How much ice fruit do you want? Choo-choo jelly. I thought I had ice fruit too. Uh, take the ice fruit. Tiba. That's not fair at all. You know I can handle it. Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. <sighs> if we don't do anything, the village. Yo. 
young Rita, he's a warrior now, yeah. Mm. New Rito Elder? <gasps> what happened to the owl? Oh no! Oh man. Hmm. Oh. He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Uh. Today's scouting trip. I think it's real, but not me. Is it you? Unbelievable. Tulin wants me to let him go out, go find out what's causing the blizzard, and he's having trouble hearing no. Uh. Old folk song. Long ago, we faced a different sort of upheaval. upheaval. The village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song that's been passed down through generations. Hmm. It's a song for children. Hmm. You get reports among the Rito of flying ship. I saw a flying ship over near that uh, tower, I think. The air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look at it. Normal blizzard shows no sign of stopping. Food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. That's why there's no adults. Mm. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. Hmm. I wish there was something I could do. Hmm. Ah, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Harth has many sources of information, so he may already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see the two bonfires out that way? Hmm. He's in the lodge near there, if you'd like to try visiting him. Okay. We'll go to the lodge. Tulin has a profile. Very cool. And then Tiba has one as well. Nice. Uh, this was the elder's home. Where's Big Al? Where's my fluffy boy? All right. Well, let's head over towards the uh, the fires then. him pretty quick with the fire arrow. But you gotta actually hit him. There we go. Sapphire sword.
You need some more help, man? What's going on now? Let's see how it falls. It falls straight down. So it should be easy to fix. Do the job. Mm -hmm. Seems like it. Flower. He broke mountain climbing path. Well, here's some of the adults. Are you hearth? because you spotted the bonfires the blizzard makes it hard to see where you're going so we keep the bonfires going as a beacon for lost travelers they eat up a lot of firewood but it's worth it you can spot them even from the air though as proud as i am of them they can't beat the spotlight set up around that fancy skyview tower mm -hmm. it won't warm you up like a bonfire will but it's hard to beat for its size and sheer brightness Oh. The Highlands are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive. Oh. I really like the detail of the ice cracking as you walk over it. Trailhead Lodge. Ah. We found these strange things at the foot of the Heber Mountains. They're oddly shaped, aren't they? Mm. I've done every test I can think of, but I haven't learned anything. Not even what they're made of or what they're for. All I know is that they're pretty heavy and pretty sharp. It'd probably hurt if you got hit by one, huh? Well, I've got all I'm going to get out of these. If you want some of them, for some reason, they're all yours. I'll take him. And the wood. And the flint. And this. And these. Remember, you offered to give me things. This is all your fault. Ooh. be him. Whoa, fabulous. Oh, the green read is so cool. Take these peppers, oil jar, when the lady outside said I could take everything in your house. Oh, Hearth, Link, you're all right. I worried after I heard what had you had gone missing. What happened? Ah, uh. oh, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you that I haven't heard anything about her. <sighs> Our feathers are full, dealing with a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food and to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. <sighs> and all of that has been hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. 
Sorry, bud. I wish I could do more for you. Oh. Though, now that I think of it, maybe Tullin could help. <laughs> oh, right. You weren't around for it, but little Tullin has developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even in this vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. Oh, awesome. So, let's see. Ravali was Tiba's mentor. Not necessarily a family member, right? Okay. Just trying to get my uh, Rita lore straight. Oh. His wind gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even Stern Tiba acknowledges that Tolan's skill is a cut above. Mm. The kid does preen about it more than he should, but, well, it's worth asking him at least. Last I saw him, he was with Gassan and Lhasa on a trip to find food. I think they're on their way to the Hebra South Summit Cave. That's to the northeast from here. The cave is past the cliff out front and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire marking the spot. Ah. Find the bonfire at the mouth of the cave, and you'll be on your way to finding Tulin. Ah. Amali, I'm drawing a special menu, drawing up a special menu for those out scavenging for food and uh, or investigating. Ingredients are hard to come by in this blizzard, but we'll be fine if we get a little creative with our cooking. With the right ingredients, a little food can go a long way. <laughs> For example, a pinch of spicy pepper warms you up so much you don't notice the cold. We do not have many of them here, but you are welcome to what's available. Mm. In tough situations like this, everyone needs to look out for each other and help where we can. That's so nice. You really need some resources. I wish I could help you out. Anyway, bye. for a bonfire that will show us a cave. We can also see about getting that tower done. Well, that piece of Sky Island is going to take us right up. I want to keep climbing normally. Oh, here's a bonfire. Ice keys. Unbelievable. Mm. That these huge things are raining down on us. What is happening up there in the skies? Oh. Oops, I hadn't expected to meet a highland here. What are you doing in the mountains in this weather? Mm. Don't you see how cold it's gotten? Our feathers keep out the worst of it, but I'm not sure how you can stand the blizzard. Ah. If you go farther up this slope, you'll see the Hebra South Summit Cave. My friends are there now, gathering provisions. There are glowing mushrooms and fish to be had, which come in handy. They keep a bonfire stood at the cave entrance to mark the location. If the cold gets too much for you, you'll find the bonfire and warm yourself up in the cave. So they're up that way, but this tower is that way. I think I should probably go for the tower at this moment. That's something we can do. I didn't realize you can pick these up like this. Ow. 
That's good. This will get me where I'm going. Of course, there's probably a lot of stuff up there that I want to check out, too. Ooh, some briars around. <laughs> Rospo Pass. get this burning so that we can get into this sh uh, sh tower. It's going to take a bit to clear out. But I can just do this. I'm sure I'll skip it soon, but not yet. Oh, can you not skip it? <laughs> okay. All right. A lot of the map has opened up to us now. Okay, well, we're pretty high up here. Let's see if we can try to get over to these islands. feels appropriate to explore right now. It's a construct over there. And a shrine up there. I wonder if I can get to that. We can get over here, though. Pretty high. 
probably get over here. We're going to see if we can get, at the very least, get up to that shrine. a weapon that's a little let me have this out for now if I find a rock I'm gonna fuse it so I have a good crusher this should get us up high enough to get to that shrine and then we can warp here I don't know maybe it won't let's see go high bud I think it's enough. I think it's enough. All right. Hebrew Mountains Sky. More than defense. More than defense. <laughs> what do you got? Is that a flame? That's a flame thing! <laughs> No flames! Don't need a flame shield. Turn it on, can I? Because it's fused. Oh well. Um, okay. We'll just drop one of these shields. Pick up this one. And use it. Fire and ice right now. I put ice on my shield if it would be even more slick. You know what I'm saying? Like if I take this shield and put ice on it. I don't know. Now we have extra ice. Arrow. 
I did lose a kite show, didn't I? Try this again. And I wish I could take these with me. I suppose I could just put them on shields. Should be my fourth there, so I can probably get. Hmm. I kind of wanted to complete an entire stamina vessel, uh, stamina wheel before I got more hearts, but we'll see. Okay, let's actually explore the top of this. A lot of area over here. Okay, that's gonna shoot us pretty far then. Cool. There's a uh, machine over here. Let's see if we get anything new. Rocket. 
Pot, Time Bomb, Flame. Yeah, a bunch of new stuff. But, let's do another round. You never know where you're gonna need something. this does oh I see I see okay keep that in mind while we explore map a very old map that shows a marked spot what could be there huh so there's a map down in the depths and it's pretty close to where I've been so far interesting okay I haven't made my way down in the depths for quite some time shrine over there. Let's try to make it 
to that one over there, I suppose. Huck. Should be able to make it there. etched with ancient Hyrulean texts. You cannot read it. Hmm. Ancient Hyrulean texts cannot read it. Must be for something later in the game, I don't assume. Okay. Well, we can tell there's a shrine in that direction. Uh, if we go down, man, we're pretty far away from where we started here. We're trying to find Tulin. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to this tower. Continue this quest line. Be on the lookout for bonfire. Okay, there's the bonfire that we were at. The one's in this direction. that for some ice fruit.
Ooh, a feathered edge. Dorito weapon. That would look pretty good with my outfit. Oh, I just noticed the shield does this. That's really cool. What can we put on the feathered edge? Let's put a was off his horn on there. No. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking. Really like that. Up there. I think this is the cave we're looking for. At the bonfire. Keeper South Summit Cave. Oh? Didn't think I'd be seeing anyone else in these mountains anytime soon, what with the blizzard and all. I'm here because it's a good place to find food for my people. Why are you here? Oh. You're looking for Tolan, huh? Well, fair enough. He's further in this cave with Gasan. They're scavenging for food. No, I'm not going to show you the way. I need to keep an eye on what we've amassed so far. Ah. Be on your guard. There's a creature in this cave that hops around on the walls. It probably won't bother you if you stay away from it. Good luck finding Tulin. Chillfin Trout. That'll help with heat resistance. Just pick him up. Why can't I pick him up? Is he too low? Miss a sticky lizard, too. Does it fall? That's lame. Damn. 
can't do a recall either. This is a big cave. Well, let's see what's down here. Water. Arrow. Some more fish. Send from here. Still keep doing that. Wait, I don't know where I'm going to end up. I could very well get destroyed here. Okay. Um. So I jumped down from there, I think. Alright. done anything with luminous stones yet. I wonder what I should be doing with them. Some fish. There's a campfire. We can use this campfire to throw on. Oh, where are the pine cones? Here. different ways we could go, but we have a way this way and a way that way. Let's do this one first. Oh. 
Kid. I feel like this is going pretty far. Let's go check that alternate route. I don't want to miss anything. Let's burn this. Good job, Link. My durability. This is good for mining. Rock salt. Okay. All right. We've done that one. Now we can go up the long one. Lizard. That too. What are we gonna do with that boy? This is Gasan. It's just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food collect behind. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, I'll be. What is a highland doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard? Mm. You're here to talk to Tulin, huh? Well, you just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food in this area, but we just saw a flock of monsters fly past outside the cave. The same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in fact. Mm. I told the others we should return right away to report them, but Tulin clearly wasn't listening at all. He said, I'm going to follow them back to their nests and flew off alone before I could protest. If you leave the cave and head north, you can spot a lone cedar tree on Tolanto Peak. That's where we saw the monster monsters. No doubt, Tulan followed them there. I remember the lone cedar. Uh, you can see it from Rita Village. I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really shouldn't take, be taking these chances. All right, more fish. I wonder if the Rito put them here? I don't know. I don't know how these fish got so high up on this mountain in these little pools. Maybe they stocked these little ponds, you know? I don't know. All right, well, we're outside the cave entrance now. Oh, look out. Okay. So, the lone cedar tree. That's where we want to go. All right, let's... 
Let's go help out our guy over here doing his doing his job. Look at him doing his job. I don't know what we use to keep this from blowing over. <laughs> well, first of all, try letting go. Okay. So... I think we just need to put something on this plank. Something heavy. The snowball might do the trick. But this rock definitely will do the trick. That should stay. All right. I really do love how committed this guy is to Hudson. And a puff shroom. I remember to use more puff shrooms. This has a wind gust to it. Oh, hell yeah, Feathered Edge. I didn't realize it did that. That's cool. It's hard to hit him, though. <laughs> they have to fall over, and then you can hit him. are cool. We'll get rid of this one. Soldier spear. I actually really like spear weapons. Let's throw something on this spear. Attack value of 16. Let's put this on there. Cool. We need to make our way up. Big boy here. 
bunch of small boys. from the Sky Islands? They're really pretty. They're very different types of ruins. Yeah, that will freeze me. I forgot. Oh, let me out. Got a sapphire, though. That's nice. Uh, let's eat. Super well, at least. There's kind of a ledge here that we can pause, take a breath, make our way up the side, jump up here. stuff open. <laughs> Definitely, guys, make sure you're breaking all the boxes that you find, because, yeah, it's really easy to keep arrows now. Sure, there was a cork here last time. Ah, I'm gonna go up the tree. Let's just make sure there's nothing up on the tree. Yep, yep, there is. Mm, I don't want to burn through my stamina like that. Let's just climb normally. here and examine. Forty-six. Stupid monster. Link, where did you come from? Oh, uh, you see, 
That rotten monster took my good bow. Oh. See? That's the bow napper. Uh. I've got to get it back. Help me out, Link. Oh. Really? Thanks. Did you know that I can blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? I'll do it for you, too. That way, you can glide over where that monster went. Uh -huh. Just tell me where to point the gust, and I'll make it for you. Ooh, Tulin's power of wind. When Tulin's aura is charged, he can create a steam of wind that blows straight forward. This can be used for bursts of speed while paragliding. Whoa, yes! Oh, hell yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. Companions! Gust! Oh, and it recharges? Okay, this is awesome. Big time, Link. Without you, my bow might have been lost for good. Uh oh. Three more. Ooh, with the cobblers. There's more of them. All right. They're not gonna make a fool out of me twice. Let's go get them together. Oh yeah, man, let's get them together. Spear time. <laughs> we did it. Hey, look. I think this might have been a hideout for those monsters. Oh? Huh? Was that the wind? It couldn't have been. There's no way. It must have been something else. Boy. Hey! Tulin! Link! Huh? huh? Who? Oh. Okay. Oh! Oh. Or hearth. That was some impressive teamwork, you two. Aw, oh, you saw that hearth? Talk about embarrassing. I didn't listen when Gassan tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it. But I just ended up losing my favorite bow to these stupid things. I thought I was fully fledged, but there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. Hmm. I bet now you see why we were treating you like a small chick. Yeah. You were right. It's really important to work as a flock. I think I finally get what Dad has been trying to tell me all this time. Is that all there is to the story? It seems unlike you to let your bow be taken, Tulin. Oh, yeah, funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. It was such a surprise that I dropped my guard and it stole my bow. We're seeing Zelda everywhere. I guess she was fine because then she zoomed, zoomed up above that cloud. Uh -huh. Princess Zelda flew above, above the cloud. How can that be? Hmm. Seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get to the bottom of it sitting around here. Uh -huh. Tulin, Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud you say the princess soared into. <laughs> huh? But I thought I wasn't allowed. Ah. I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely the blizzard is all coming from inside that cloud after all. The storm cloud? <sighs> I want to see for myself as soon as I can. The strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way is in through the top. 
There's not a Rito alive capable of closing, of crossing this stormy sky and making it all the way there. Well, except for one. Uh. I'm talking about you, Tulin. Only you have the skill and train to create gusts at will. Tulin will be the finest Rita warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. Oh. You know who said that to me? Your old dad, Tiba. Huh. Dad said that? Oh. Yep, and I'll make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. Now it's time to go with Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever's causing this blizzard. Uh -huh. No problem, the two of us together have got this. I saw Princess Zelda up on the Sky Islands near Hebra Peak. Let's check there first. Oh. Link, Tulin, we're counting on you. Yes, companion! Tulin of Greedo Village updated. Oh, and a falcon bow. Is this um drop falcon bow fourteen so Tulin will just follow me then oh that's great great all right uh well, we don't have a quest marker right now. That's because the quest marker is up in the sky. We need to get to the top. And to do that, I think we need to climb to the top of that mountain and work our way up. That sounds like a big, fat adventure, and I'm all here for it. Are you guys are here for it? Because I certainly am. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to uh, go use the bathroom real quick. Take a very, very small break. And you guys can uh, look out on Hyrule from all the way up to here. So I'll be right back, and then we'll get going. All right, we're gonna make our way to the top of this mountain. Let's uh, talk with our friends here. What incredible teamwork. Oh. I'm sure the two of you can overcome anything if you work together. Don't worry about Tiba. You two should get going. <laughs> Bring me back a nice souvenir, okay, bud? Mm. Our investigations haven't revealed what's above these clouds. You should be ready for anything before you head out. Okay. I 
I assume he'll just continue to follow me. Chest here. Zonite sword. Don't want to get rid of anything. I'll get rid of this. I don't really need it. Of course, this one's brand new. Uh, we'll get rid of this one. Monster camp and a Zonai camp over there. We might just go ahead and throw away the here. So cool to have a companion. <laughs> like I've even missed Navi. I don't know why I say even like that. I really like Navi. I like being able to know, like, monster names and stuff like that immediately. Oh, look out, buddy. are very interesting. They do kind of remind me a little tiny bit of the Rito aesthetic, though. Where, they have to come from the Sky Island. Does he have a... I think they're going to drop those on. Tiba. Take care of both of them, bud. Good job. to the top. <sighs> if only it were possible to find out what's inside of this blizzard. Oh? Oh. Well, if it isn't Tulin, I was too focused on the cloud to notice you. But if you come here, 
If you've come here, that means... Oh! Yep. They said I could go up there. Oh? I knew it. Someone told me you were the best one for this mission. Everyone has admired your wind gust technique since you first demonstrated it. Ah. You may be the only Rito capable of rising above that cloud to find the truth among the turbulent skies. Give it your best shot. I'll be here watching for your return. Uh -huh. Thanks. Between Link and me, you won't be disappointed. We got this. We got this, Tula. Uh Ah, oh, that's great. Possible, but I want to try. Put this all the way up like this. Ah, <laughs> oh, man! Oh, I thought that was gonna work. <laughs> and I was gonna see if I could get on top of that and then ascend to where I was up there, but. Didn't work. I mean, that's how you try new things, right? You fail and you fail. I suppose I could probably fly back over there. continue on. and ready to go. So you have to get the gusts ready and then it'll go. Rising Island Chain. Okay. Oh, we have a long way to go. This is... <laughs> hey, look at this ship. Hey, Link. 
It was around here I saw Princess Zelda. Hmm. But now, I don't know where she could have gone. Oh? Huh? What is that? What is that thing? Oh? Look at that. It's a boat. Oh? Huh? Come. Come. To me. Whose voice was that? Was it coming from somewhere up there? <laughs> Whoa. Do you see that thing inside that cloud? Is that another boat? But it's huge. There's tons of those fl little flying boats, too. You know what it reminds me of? Hmm. A line of ships soaring, built as the passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. This whole thing is just like the so song of the storm wind arc. Oh. Was that children's song true after all? You heard the strange voice too, right, Link? I'm sure I heard it say, come to me. Huh. It's like it was calling us up there. I don't see anything around here that could lead us to Princess Zelda. Maybe she went over to that ship. Uh -huh. Well, nowhere to go but up. Come on! Go to one. I like it. He doesn't have any hesitation. Whoa! Oh, it's a springboard. Okay. Okay. All right. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Let's check out the shrine. Now if we fall, we can make our way back up here. Do I have a travel medallion? I should be using that. I really should be using that. Does Tulan go into the shrine with me or does he stay outside? I must know. I don't think he's in here with me. Downward force. Downward No possible way I'm ascending up that way. Downward force. <laughs> okay. I figured that must be some type of crystal or some type of opening. Oh, they have... Whoa, look how big this shrine is. Okay. Is there anything actually on these ships? Guess not. Let's get you around here. You don't lose your stuff.
have enough? Okay. Um, maybe we can make it over from here. All right, I seem to be closer. <laughs> I think I can make it. Okay. Arrow times ten. Got a statue. All right, Tolan's back here. I'm gonna be needing some arrows in the future. Wow, man. Look at this. Just to get to these. Just to get to the cloud is always hard work. up here. Anything? <laughs> hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Poor oh, something over here.
Where the shrine is. Leave it to me. Man, that thing is that is so helpful. Hope we get to keep him forever. <laughs> I can really change the way I transverse transverse the game. Traverse the game? Did I say that right? Good. into this cloud. Break soon. Oh, there's mushrooms up here. these abilities like, together like this. It's so fun. Alright, so we have ice there. Sturdy stick could be pretty helpful. What do we want to put on top of the sturdy stick? How about this black problem? Makes for a pretty cool hammer. Level 29, too. We also have this Zonite sword. We can put something on the sword, too. What do we think? What do we think? We'll save it for now. We might find something cool we need it for. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Ice, ice, ice. Hmm. Huh. We can 
ride this all the way to the top. button. Ooh, there's a construct here. Alright, let's fight him. Uh, let's use our hammer. What we just got? It's extra durable, it says. Lot of work there though. Got some zonite charges and some flame emitters, and I'm so glad we left a weapon. Let's go ahead and put this on this sword. This is gonna be a hell of a sword. Look at this thing. Alright. We got this chest. And the chest comes with an old map. Uh, where does this one mark? Down in the depths, which I have not done much, but I'll have to explore that at some point here. There's so much to do and I love it, but oh my god, there's so much to do! Need to watch out for that. What level is the meat tenderizer? Let's look. 19. It's not too bad. It also has powerful attacks when you're down to your last heart. That's interesting. Arrow. 
those. I'm really happy that I get those eyeballs automatically if they fall off. That's really cool. Okay, so we're on the top here. We jumped from over there. I guess we need to go that direction? Beep. Making our way. I love how extended this sequence is. Okay, we got some fish. Sometimes the fish get too far down and I can't get them. got the fish. I was standing a little too close to that one. Of course, now this thing is stronger, right? Because I'm on my last heart. I won't rely on that, and I will heal. Continue in that direction. Oh, they're fighting those. Let's go see what we can do. We're not doing too bad. Didn't need my help. But, they're going to need help. Thank you, Wind Cleaver. Yeah, I guess I don't get their resources, but that's okay, because that was fun. Come <laughs> on. 
I do want to collect charges, so I won't blow them off. I want to do that if I if it's in a pinch. Blows up after you turn it. So I charge. emitter, balloons, platform, a time bomb, flame emitter, more platforms. I think I need a bomb.
shrine. Woo! Uh -huh. Alright, this is my first time flying this high. The air's pretty cold up here, huh? I'll be fine, but what about you, Link? Make sure you don't freeze, okay? Well, I have this full Rito gear outfit, so I think I'm okay. Just curious if I were to turn on the main HUD. The temperature is pretty low up here. Wow, oh, yeah. But I do not like the HUD. I like the no HUD. Oh no, I inverted my controls. <laughs> Um, how did I do that? Which option did I accidentally pick? There we go. All right, fixed it. That was scary. <laughs> All right, let's do the shrine. My, uh, my wife likes to play with a lot of inverted controls. Oh, this is uh, one of the blessing shrines. I actually got one of these um, when I was playing off stream. I went into a cave and they had one of these in there. We're getting towards the top of the storm. Look at all these ships. we're heading this way, but do I have enough? Do I have enough juice? Yo, we do have enough juice. All right, Tulin. Let's go, buddy. This is nuts. We are so high above Hyrule right now. I don't know if can I make this? I think I can. Alright, let's 
look and see. Oh, okay, there's one there that we could have gotten. There's another one coming. Okay, I see the pattern now. Stamina gets filled each time we do it. I'm gonna miss this. to the top what's inside here <laughs> the only thing I know that's inside here is a uh, some type of monster that we saw in the trailer but the, there's like a giant ship in here too which must be the ark I'm ready you guys ready Here we go. We're inside. Temple. <laughs> yes. Oh, hell yeah. A true blue temple. It took so long to get up here, and now we're in a temple. Wind Temple. First floor. Let's go. Wow, so this is what was waiting for us in that huge cloud. This is the Stormwind Ark from the kids' song. Oh? Huh? <gasps> Zelda. Zelda's here. Huh? Huh? This proves it, Link. The blizzard that's been pounding Rita Village is coming from there. Huh. Oh yeah, didn't I see someone here a minute ago? Hmm. Weird, I could have, I could swear they were here. All right, so we have a big gust in the middle. We have this. which opens up a travel point. That's good. Gears in place. Hmm. Looks like it's shut tight, but the source of the blizzard has got to be right under that hatch. 
Isn't there some way we can get it open? Huh. That sound, there it is again. Brave Fletchling. There are still five locks securing the hatch on the deck. Use your power to release all five locks, and the hatch should open. Okay. Heed my words. <laughs> okay, I heard it for sure this time. It was calling out to me loud and clear. The source of the blizzard messing up the village has got to be under this hatch. If that voice was right, it'll open once we find a way to release all five locks. <laughs> we are so close. Come on, Link. Let's go figure out how to open up those locks. All right, we got to open up these locks. And he's attacking enemies already. Lay the land here. So this one is moving. But I guess we gotta get the other ones. So let's, for example, take this direction. with the flame. Almost. Soldier Spear, 2. Power of 15. We'll go ahead and get rid of this Sapphire Sword. I have no way of getting that Sapphire without destroying it. At least right now. this up. Sure, what direction to 
going right now. Go up here. Back there. Call the map. So there's one of those things there. Wind Temple entrance would be one B two. Floor one B one. We need to go to floor one, because we're on floor one first. So let's go straight ahead and then go right once we pass this. inside this ice. Um, three. Yeah, three to break it. Uh, just some arrows. Okay. Strong construct bow. Get rid of this. Is this one for the locks? It's kind of shaped like a windmill. One of the locks? Um... commit to voice acting fully. I know it's a lot of work, but not too bad.
Opal. Got it. All right, so we got one. Um, these ones are, we got one on B1, B1, this one's on B2, and this one's on floor one, but I can't get to it yet. I probably need to be under it and ascend upward. So how do I get down? Go that way. Already went that way. Maybe we can go up. Get over there. There's definitely a way of doing it. Uh, let's try to get up here. We get on top, but does that give us an advantage at all? I don't see an entrance. Oh no, these could be doors. Yeah, they are doors. Oh, okay. Hmm. Do we have. Gets us to be one. Yes. Three more to go. We can do it. Soldier Blade. It's a large sword used by the Zunai and made of Zunite. Is it bad that I kind of want my weapons to break more? <laughs> it's a, a 14... Get rid of this. I guess it's not super special, but it is cool looking. I don't know. The flame emitter spear might be better. From here, what do we do? Okay. Let's look at our map. We are on B1. But we can't get out of here. But it looks like there might be entrances on the side of the ship that we can get into. So let's get out of here. Oh! Oh, I don't know what that does, but we did it. Okay, we went right through it. All right, let's see if we can enter in the entrances on the side. Yeah, right here. 
Explore this a little bit more. So this is where we just were, right here. Let's break open these boxes. Good, 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 good. Box is broken. Love the architecture and the designs in here. It's fantastic. These aren't moving. close. Ruby. Good. I got a lot of rubies, but that's fine. I want to see what's done. See if I can get it to be on the right spot. Alright, it won't stick, but I don't think there's anything under there. bomb and a portable pot. See, this room has had its floor caved in, so I can probably get up from there from here. Okay. Good. 
Rock camera's gonna be getting destroyed soon. Which is fine. I have too many great weapons as it is. I need to start using others. So this is already a, a fused weapon, right? It's got a horn and then a zonite sword. That was just a whim. It does work. Oh. Got to figure out a better way. In these puzzles. A lot more interesting than some of the Divine Beast stuff we have. And this is the one. Yeah. That's the one from floor one that we couldn't Three get down, to. Two to go. We're almost done, Link. Three down, two to go. All right, what we got left? There's one one here on B B two. Looks like we're gonna have to jump off and really get down there. This is a way for that floor, but can we go deeper is the question. Let's plop down a save. Oh, we 
get in there. Okay, I'm not gonna make it here. But I might be able to make it over there and not die. I think we might. Yeah, okay. Temple C2. Take out this construct. And it's down. Oh, there's a nice shield. Good. What are you doing, bud? I don't know how you're doing this without the mini map. Uh, I don't know. It's, I don't think it's too bad. I mean, I also have greatly missed Zelda temples, and while this isn't like, you know, the classic, classic ones exactly, it is kind of like halfway between those classic temples and a divine beast. I don't know. It kind of works. You just need to follow, look at your map, try to understand the space. I think it's working pretty well. And we have one more left. Okay, this is... Where is this? No, I shouldn't use this. Don't only have a good box breaker now, do I? I guess this is a hit. This one isn't too bad. Okay, I remember this from earlier. Yeah. Okay. Alright, what do we need to go now? Um, B1, there's another one here. We need to go... We need to come in from this side. See if that works. We're going to go ahead and plop down another save just to be safe. Just so that we can get back here if we need to. Where's it exactly? So, it's currently closed to us, but this is where we want to go. It's currently closed. Um, maybe we can go through there? Taking aim at me. 
Oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right, I think we're in the right spot. Put this down. Use this. Oh no, it is, it doesn't, it is already fused. Never mind. Okay. Rewind. Shredded. This up. All right. It looks like we need to connect these gears with something. We can probably use an icicle. Let's see if this works. Connect those. Uh, yeah, that worked. All right, come on, everybody. That's the last one. Music's so good. Go. I'm sure there were chests or something that we missed along the way, but I think we did most of everything we were looking for. My first playthrough is never a 100% run anyway. Let's open it up. Wind Temple. I was kind of sad there were no keys throughout the temple. Unless there's more here, but I imagine this is the boss. Whoa! Okay, that's some wind. Oh, look at our bros. Wing boys. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh Kara, Scourge of the Wind Temple. Classic. What's causing the blizzard? We've got to take it down. We gotta do it for your people, buddy. Alright, here we go. What do we do? What do we do? Blown away. Should get a bow. Need to find a way to hurt it. We aren't hurting it at all. Oh! 
Oh! Alright, I think we heard it. It's really, really big. It but is I'm big. sure we can do it. It's going into that sphere or something. Belly has glass, kind of like a couple of the things in the temple here have had. It likes to flow, fly low. When we get under it, Music's so good. Get ready, skydive. That's what we gotta do. That way we can get under him. Oh, uh, hold on, and then where are you at? Where are you at? Give me that belly. Give me that belly! Don't hit me! Yes! You got three holes now, buddy! Falcon Ball. I think this is 
is gonna shoot a lot straighter. I should have been afraid of you, I'm dead. <laughs> Damn, this is so fun. Back to it. Let's make sure we have this bow and we're using something. We need to find a way to hurt it. As a Wind Waker fan and Dragon Bruce Island being like one of the best, like one of the best Zelda songs ever, this is just so epic. Bow equipped.
eat shit. Oh, he's so fast. Okay. Perfect. Come on, get it. Get it done. Yes. Cool boss. That was more fun than any light from Breath of the Wild. Brought peace back to Hebra. The tears. some of the life force you lost to the gloom, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. That was such a fun battle. What a location. Look at this. Beautiful. I gotta, I, I have to go look at, Oh, off the side. <laughs> I have to look off the side of the wind temple, which is such a fun thing to say for me. Oh, it's so clear now. Dude, you guys need to just have your town up here. Just move into the wind temple. I'm going to tell your elder that. Tulin, my brave fledgling. Who's speaking to you? I know that voice. It's you. You're the one who's been guiding us? Whoa. Is that a Rito yes. Zona? I am your ancestor from a time long ago. I proudly served Hyrule's first king. I was a Rito warrior and a sage with control a of the A sage? Wind. Where you fight, the winds follow. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You make me proud. I have chills. <laughs> That's amazing. That monster you defeated, the source of that intense blizzard, it was summoned by the Demon King. He thought he could stop you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Like a spiritual stone. Demon King? Secret stone? This is a lot to learn all of a sudden, I know. But listen while I tell you what happened in the past. A tale of the imprisoning war, and the mission our people must accomplish. I'm so Years ready. ago, when the kingdom of Hyrule was still young, a great evil, so the Demon it. King, descended on the land. He sought to wipe out anyone who opposed him. But Raru, the first king of Hyrule, requested my aid, as well as that of five other warriors, to help in the fight. Six Raru trusted us with amazing artifacts, secret stones, 
Objects that amplified our formidable abilities. I carried one into battle as the Sage of Wind. It was thrilling to fight alongside my fellow sages. Yet we were still no match for the Demon King's overwhelming power. His magic was staggering, and I was unable to slip past his defenses, no matter how hard I tried. In the end, King Rauru realized that we would not be able to defeat the Demon King. To save our world, King Rauru sacrificed himself and sealed the Demon King away. With his arm, yeah. So that was the imprisoning war. Wow. I was thinking of the imprisoning war from the rest Link to the of past, us but this is a different one. battle. And I would soon receive a visitor with a request that would define the future of the Rito. It was another of the six sages, the Sage of Time. The Sage of Time. <laughs> the Demon King will return. The magic binding him will be undone. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. But Link will only succeed with the Rito's help. Summon the winds and support this hero. It was clear what part the Rito would play. It will be an honor to defeat the Demon King. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, the Rito Sage of Wind will awaken once more. Oh, yeah, too. And you can count on the full support of the Rito. This is beautiful. <laughs> I love Zoto lore. And now you know about the imprisoning war and a mission I accepted on our behalf. You've saved Rito Village, but there's more to do. The Demon King will soon recover his full strength. Tulin, my brave fledgling, you must take up my secret stone and honor the Sage of Time's request. Sage of Wind, buddy. Fight the Demon King with the Swordsman Link. It's my mission to fight the Demon King with you? <sighs> Link! This is so, so amazing! I can't believe my ancestor gave me such an important mission, and it involves fighting alongside you to save the world! If we don't do anything, then the world is gonna be in big trouble. I can't let that happen. I'll do this! I'll happily take this secret stone! Happily. That's some courage, kid. Use that ring to call on my power anytime. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Okay, so I get a shadow clone. Okay, let's head back to the village and tell Dad. That was awesome. I love Breath of the Wild, but Breath of the Wild was kind of missing that feeling a little bit. Baby chick did it, buddy. He's not a fledgling anymore. He's a sage. See, we never got this in Zora's Domain, Ocarina of Time. <laughs> it has stayed cold. Yeah, turns out it was easy once we started working together. Mm. Mm. This was no small feat. <sighs> I still can't believe the Stormwind arc from the children's song was real. <laughs> me neither. You could have knocked me over with a feather. Job well done, Tulin. Huh. Wait, what? This bow meant so much to you, and now you're giving it to me? Hmm. It was always my intention to give it to you once you became once you came of age as a warrior. Dad. <laughs> Thank you. I'll prove to you that I've become a warrior worthy of carrying it. Mm. Hey, Link, that woman in the vision my ancestors showed us, didn't she look just like Princess Zelda to you? Huh. Do you think that was the real princess? I mean, it seemed like a long, long time ago. Mm. There's still a bunch of unanswered questions. I gotta know more about the figure we saw on the Stormwind Arc, so I'm gonna look into it personally. Next time you see me, I'll have more information about Princess Zelda, so check in with me sometime, okay? Mm. And remember, with my Sage's power, the two of us can keep working together no matter what. Vow of Tulin, Sage of Wind. Proof of the Vow of Tulin, Sage of Wind. Use it to summon or dismiss the Avatar. Yeah. Awesome. <sighs> that was such a great mission. <laughs> oh, let's talk to Tulin. You can activate and deactivate the Sage's Vows on the key item menu. Okay. I'll keep getting stronger and stronger until the day comes when we can fight together again. I'm a descendant of the Sage of Wind, after all. I'm not going to be the one who holds you back, Link. I'm worried about Princess Zelda, too, so I'll keep looking at things from this end. <laughs> I'm thinking about heading over to Lookout Landing as a representative of the Rito. If Hyrule's not at peace, the Rito aren't at peace either, right? I'll just need to get a couple things together. I'll be ready to set out. 
Once again, we owe you so much. Not only did you save the village, you helped set Tulin straight. The Brito will never forget this debt. And now it's our turn to aid you. You can leave the Hebrew Mountains to us. We'll scour them and find your lead on Princess Zelda. Hm. Our hearts are always with you, Link. Remember that. And don't be a stranger. <sighs> Thank you, Link. Truly. You have taught Tool in the most valuable lesson of all. My husband is beside himself with joy and relief. No one wanted Tulin to come into his own more than him. Eh? Tiba and I shall watch over Tulin so that he can lend himself to your quest. I will pray with full heart for your good fortune and Princess Zelda's safety. Hell yeah. So good. Interesting. The surrounding areas are still covered in snow. That might take a little bit, or it's just that, that yeah, they might just take a while to cool off. So that might remain that way throughout the game. But Rito Village is this nice oasis of warm, or I should at least say, it's not freezing anymore. Impa, a geoglyph here too. Oh, Link, we meet again. Kato and I came here to see a geoglyph. Sadly, we were thwarted by the blizzard and ground nearby. After it finally calmed down, we made our way to this village. We plan to get on with finding that geoglyph shortly. Link, I have been wondering, have you found the geoglyph in southern Hebra yet? Ooh. The map in the Forgotten Temple showed a geoglyph shaped like a castle. Oh. We intend to investigate that geoglyph as well. Yeah. The geoglyph in southern Hebra. It will likely focus our investigation there. Perhaps you should head that way as well, courageous one. Oh. All right, southern Hebra. Let's uh, talk to everybody in town. <gasps> ah, those are mine, mister. Hold on. Is your problem that you don't have enough wooden arrows? It's important to help each other in times of need. That's what my papa says. So, if you want them, they're yours. Oh, thank you, Molly. Oh. Thanks for helping me with the arrows. I'll keep coming up with ideas. <laughs> Look, everybody's walking over this way. Send through this, can I? All the way to the top. That sure <laughs> beats Breath of the Wild climbing up here. I wonder what happened to Vaughn Meadow. Like, where are the divine beasts? Were they destroyed? I mean, I realize the shrines are all gone. The Sheikah shrines. But something like Divine Beast just, I don't know, maybe they sunk it in the sea or something? I don't know. Oh, that was fun. I want to explore the rest of the village, but first let's go over and see what's going on here. Another one of these, it's got to be a Korok puzzle, right? Oh, wait. I th think it might be roof fixed. That must be what's happening. Is that what you want? There we go. Yeah, okay, it is. Now we know. Yeah. 
All right, let's talk to everybody else in Rito Village, and then we're gonna see about what we can do to find that geoglyph in Southern Hebra. Hey, hey, mister, you're the one who stopped the blizzard, right? Thanks for saving our village. Although, even now it's calm, I still got a lot of work to do. I still patrol the village to see if the snow damaged anything. It's a big job, but I'm pretty good at it. I shall keep it. Thank you for saving our village, Link. Were you seeking Kennelly? He is out at the flight range at the moment. Oh, the owl didn't die. <laughs> Thank God. Right? Kennelly is the name of the, the village elder from before. When the blizzard struck, he volunteered to ensure the flight range was not damaged by the relentless snows. Though the blizzard was has subsided now, he seems content to stay there. Okay. Well, I'm glad Canelli's alive. Oh. The flight range is beyond the flags, visible to the north. As my husband Tiba ha had assumed the duties of our elder, Canelli has offered to devote himself to flight tutelage. While he is away, I have made keeping his house my responsibility. Okay. I was so worried something had happened to Canelli. <laughs> he's not a he's not a young Rito. Canelli is at the flight range. And South Hebra Geoglyph is what we're gonna try to do next after the village here. Oh. Hmm. I was proud to bequeath my great eagle bow to my fully fledged son, of course. But it does leave me without the bow I've used for so long. Hmm. An elder shouldn't go unarmed, so I'll be crafting myself another as soon as I can. The bow I gave Tulin was a masterpiece. After so many years of use, it was like another limb for me. Hmm. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't break after a day. Uh, but I think I have it in me to craft one just as good. Mm -hmm. If you want your own Great Eagle Bow, I wouldn't mind crafting one for you too while I'm at it. I'll need a swallow bow, five bundles of wood, and three diamonds. <laughs> Those materials might not be easy to come by, but if you can collect them all, then the bow is yours. I got everything but the three diamonds, I think. <laughs> I've been looking into leads about Princess Zelda, and I'll let you know right away if any of them go somewhere. Oh yeah, one other thing. I don't think this has anything to do with where the princess went, but Harth asked me to help him sort through some ancient literature. You'll never believe what I found written in one of his books. <sighs> Sternida. Sternida, go flams, and sure fins. Hidden treasure sleeps in the center of the three secret hot springs in the mountains. Guide the three waters to that place. When it fills, the slumbering treasure will awaken once more. <gasps> There's got to be something good waiting for whoever solves the riddle, right? Secret hot springs, huh? I've been to Sternita Secret Hot Springs a few times. It's northwest of Rita Village. <laughs> It's the best. A quick soak is enough to heal your wounds in the blink of an eye. It keeps you from freezing, too. But I don't know about the others. The Heber Mountains are a big place, and I'm not sure we could cover all of them. But that slumbering treasure is pretty tempting. If only we could find it. All right, we got some quests going on here. Nice. Geoglyph here, too. Gonna make arrows. One in here. Let's go on over here. And where is Cass? Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, buddy. There is a donkey with a hat. Nobody panic. What should I do? Hey! Oh, hey! You're the one who helped Tool and save the village. We owe you big for that. Now the blizzards died down, we're stockpiling all the food and materials we used to have in abundance. 
The others are all working together to bring supplies to the village. I'm managing the whole process from here. Speaking of which, Puck was supposed to bring me some food, but I haven't seen him. He told me he'd collect food from Snowfield Stable in the Tabantha Tundra, northeast of here. Huh? I hope nothing happened to him on his way back to the village. Ah, <sighs> uh, never mind me. I was just thinking about a friend of mine who hasn't come back yet. Huh? Hey, you wouldn't happen to have any spare food you'd be willing to part with, would you? Our food stockpiles are looking healthier now than the blizzard has stopped, but they could still be better. If you have extra food, I'd be happy to trade you for some supplies. Huh. I could offer you, say, ten arrows for three glowing ten cave fish. They're not hard to find if you look in caves. Wow. So you are carrying at least three. Uh, that doesn't seem like a great deal, but they need food. So that's fine. <laughs> huh? Okay, it might be a good way to get arrows. I got some extra supplies. It's okay, I'm allowed. I'm a hero. I can break jars. Here comes the inspector. Okay, I already talked to you. Uh... Hmm, that cave, where was it again? Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, if it isn't the guy who worked with Tulin to save the village. Everyone in the village is happy to stretch their wings again, without them icing over, so thanks for that. And the end of the blizzard has improved visibility, too. It's much easier now to find caves where we can gather food. Uh... I saw one just the other day, in fact, while I was flying around, but I forgot exactly where it was. It had a rock wreathed in green light inside it, just like the one beneath the general store. Just where did I see that cave anyway? I found it while I was looking for that white bird. The white bird's guidance. Mm. Yeah, there were mushrooms in it and a pond with fish. It would have been a perfect place to stock up on supplies. All I remember is I found it while looking for that white bird. Ah. Yeah, have you ever looked up at the peak of the spire here in Rito Village? That bit jutting out sideways, sideways looked kind of like a bird's perch, right? We call it Valmeadow's Perch. Uh... Part of my morning routine is to head up there and bask in the sun as it rises. That day, I was getting some sun up on the perch, same as always, just when the dawn was breaking. Right about then, I looked to the west and saw a white bird resting atop a long shadow of the perch. Ooh. It's weird for a bird to rest on a shadow, right? I was curious, so I went to go have a look where I saw the bird. Thing is, I couldn't find the white bird again after that. Instead, I found a cave entrance. It's kind of like a white bird led me to that cave. Mm. I don't know why I can remember all that so clearly, but not where the cave was. Hmm, this is frustrating. Mm. Was there anything that stood out? Let me think. I was lucky to find it. I didn't think the area around the entrance was anything special or memorable. Oh. But it was right next to a resting white bird. That much I do remember. Deep inside, I can make out a rock wreathed in green light, like the one that's beneath the general store uh. now. Hmm. Okay. So be up there at first morning light. I don't think anybody's in the kitchen. Nope. Bedroom. Hi. 
Hello, mister. The blizzard stopped, so the grown-ups are back. But I'm still gonna help out around the shop. There's always work to do. You got a new stock there. Armor! Warm clothes! Ah! When the blizzard drove off most of, most of the adults, the kids hung in there and kept things going. That includes the shops. I can't express how much we owe the little ones. They're the saviors of this village. No. This is the armor shop, Brazen Beak. Brazen Beak. I'm happy to say we're open for business. Oh. Oh. All right. Ah. Hey there, mister. <laughs> now that it's warmer, we can get all the products we couldn't before. If there's anything the Slippery Falcon General Store can do for you, mister, come stop by any time. What all do you got now? Uh, yeah, you want the, the bass. What all do you have now that you couldn't get before? Oh, more arrows. We'll buy all of them. Ah. Also got sun shrooms. Do they have the wheat? Okay, nothing in here that I probably can't find out and about. And here's the hotel. Which we might stay in until morning. place entirely. I suppose that's how kids grow up. Ah. Let's get the down <laughs> bed. I need to be up there at the crack of morning, so I probably should wait until night. I don't know. Maybe I can get up there early. Find the <laughs> white bird. Uh... To do rupees, I hunted, like, the Great Sky Islands over and over again, uh, all the trails and stuff. I pretty much just collected a bunch of materials, um, sold a bunch of things, and I did that over and over again because I couldn't progress in the story. It was incredibly tedious, but it's what I had. <laughs> Good morning. All right, uh, this might be too early. Or I should say too late to be able to get there. Alright, we gotta get out to the perch, and we gotta see where the shadow is, and if we can find... If we can find... Where's the perch at? Uh, it's this way. Shadow should be off to the left here. It's not quite done. Quark? <laughs> Yep. Is that the white bird we're looking for? Ooh, no, it's right there. Do you see it? I see it. Let's go. Oh, I should see about getting the avatar of Tulin out. I gotta go back to do. It says dismiss. Did I bring him out? 
summon. You can't summon here. Okay. What? We got a raid. RTDV. Thank you guys so much. What's up, everybody? We're playing some Tears of the Kingdom, and I'm looking for this white bird. Which I have found. Pluck its eyeball. What's this? Came from a One Piece chapter stream. That's cool. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Tulin's vow has granted you the power to summon his avatar. <laughs> this is a cork. And we have discovered the Westlake Tatori Cave in the Heber Mountains. Let's throw this. Alright. Let's do a little spelunking. Come to it! Icicles. Gotta watch out for those. Sticky lizard. You always need some sticky lizards. Okay? Don't forget that. The lesson. You get a chance to get a sticky lizard, you take it! I should say, I have yet to use one. <laughs> Come, fish, you will be mine. Oh, yes, you will be mine. Oh, my God, just get in my pocket. Okay, I think that's good for now. Where the hell did my sticky lizard go? Damn. Alright. Let's get out our hammer. Yeah, there's a shrine down here. Wow, shrine. I'm doing Thrawn as an audiobook. Do I have any predictions for Buggy the Clown and Choo Choo next year? Uh, I do not have any predictions. I was very affected by that dog this year. That dog episode really got me. I was very emotional. Yeah, Mark Thompson is amazing uh, in the audiobooks. Absolutely. I wish that he could narrate everything that I do. Okay, lever power. Lever power. Well, this must be the lever. but don't sticky it, right? And then this one... You let fall? Okay.
No good place to ascend up there. I think this is too high to ascend. Yeah, that's way too high to ascend. Um, I could maybe get myself up there. Hmm. Okay, we gotta try to figure this out. Let's do this one again. Uh, maybe a little more this way. And we'll have this one just barely touch the air. Oh, no. Hold off. Please don't do that. Please do not roll off. Please stay. Stay right here. We're rolling off! Stay. I can't attach you or else it won't work. Oh my god, you son of a Far too high. Start you like here then. You're gonna be So, I could sticky that there, and then it won't roll off. That makes a little extra sense. I just wanted to do it real, real quick, like. Now I have to actually prepare. All right. We need this to barely touch. I got that one. It opens up that. Cool. You give me a board. What? No, that should have worked! <sighs> Was it too low? I feel like that would have worked. Put this up as high as it can go. Like so. Drop it. Recall. Jump on. <clears throat> okay. We got this. I don't know if this is even viable, but we got it. Find. Send won't work. It was a viable strategy. So I assume we take this off. We extend here. We put this in here. Though so it does need to stick. And then in order to actually get that chest, I'm going to assume that I need to be in here. 
And then we can fling me. Hi. And that does work. Got the yep. chest. Spicy elixir. That's okay. Not fantastic, but it's okay. Alright, and now we can do the same thing for the ball. Put that in there. Pick this up. Right on the edge. Where the green shadow is, and blam. Oh no, I got too much height. I did too well. Okay. Good, got it. And then let's put ourselves up there. Sweet, fun shrine. Whenever I enter into a shrine, I always want to do something that doesn't feel like this is what you should do. I want to do something different. Monster camp. All right, let's take out some monsters. Buddy. Ball hammer. Um, get rid of this. This is gonna be good for mining and. Crates. Oh, this was a secret entrance. Cool. Alright, that one is cleared. I'll just real quickly make sure there's nothing on top of the skull. Like a Korok stone or something. Oh no, I've hit the button that... Oh. Huh. Well, I could use this. Just... with the Zora armor. You could probably do something with that. Look how cool Tolan looks right here. I love his avatar. It's like he's in the avatar state. 
Last Airbender. Bum bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Alright, uh. So, the South Hebra Geoglyph. That's what we need to look for now. Where would the Geoglyph be? We are pretty high here. And we are south of this peak. So it should be around here somewhere. Where would it be? It's probably going to be easier to see it at night, I'm going to assume. Let's uh, hold this, put it down, and we're just going to make ourselves a nice little campfire. We're going to sleep here until night. All right, it's night, and we don't have great visibility. <laughs> I don't see it from here. We might need to go to one of the towers to really get some height. Okay, we can do that. Let's go to this tower here. Oh yeah, this is a very long game. I'm going to be playing this game for quite a long time, because I'm only playing it twice a week. But with Zelda being my absolute favorite game series of all time... Alright, we are high now. And we're looking for a Geoglyph. Personally, don't see one. I'm gonna head over to this island so that we can uh, keep our height. Still in South Hebra. I mean, it's it's very south, <laughs> but that might do it. I think that one's it. All right. Well, let's head over that direction. Let's make sure we don't have anything else. Another one. That does feel like that one's too far. That one's getting more into the Gerudo. Islands and Tabantha Plains and stuff. I don't think that was it. But it's certainly one of them. Uh, you know, I actually do have a photo of the map. Okay. So, there's one. Where those things intersect. So what? There's going to be one... I need to be better at looking at this map. Let me see here. <clears throat> oh, 
Don't judge me. I'm not this old, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take a picture of this map right here. And now I have one. And then I can just go to my map and start putting out where they are. It is kind of hard to look to see here. I'm trying to look at the waterways and stuff, but they don't match 100%. So there was one right here, which means there's another one around here somewhere. No, oh, I'm having such a tough time trying to find it. That's Rito Village. That's that lake. And then I can't see... Hmm. I mean, I, I think it has to be that one there that... I'm gonna try to make more. Maybe if we just start flying, we'll see it down in like one of these crevices. I can't find it. In fact, we're going to shoot ourselves from the tower again. Probably the smart thing to do. So we can be a little higher. I can't believe I only see one.
Well, at the very least, we're gonna get this Korra. Keep doing that. Keep doing the wrong one. Alright, let's uh, have a look at our adventure log. We gotta visit stables. We gotta go to that Nakluda by Fort Hateno. Regional phenomena, crisis of Hyrule, the dragon's tears, the geoglyphs. Um, I actually am going to return to the lookout right now. Lookout landing. Because when I started up stream, and then was making my way to the, that stable where we started, I saw a familiar person there. I think it's going to help us out. And yep, he's right in front of us. Whoa. Hold on. We got some visitors. What's going on here? Mm. Um. You are Goron. You should know the way to Goron City. How in the name of Hyla did you forget? Mm. Lay off. I'm embarrassed enough as it is. Besides, it's not that I forgot. When I left the city, there was still lava everywhere. I didn't know Death Mountain would stop erupting, and the lava would cool, and new roads would form. Mm. You don't have to tell me there was lava everywhere. I used to be so hot, the Highlands couldn't step foot on the mountain without fire-resistant gear. Even if I wanted to take a trip that way, I couldn't. Well, thanks to this guy, now you can. First, we have to walk down the road toward Death Mountain, which you can see over in the northeast. Then, we'll arrive at Woodland Stable, and from there, we keep going north. Thanks again for the directions, fella. Oh. Happy to be of service. Using Death Mountain as a landmark is all well and good, of course, but the red haze around the summit looks worrying, worryingly like gloom. Try not to get too close. Oh. All right, let's go. And on our way, we'll stop by that bistro place you keep mentioning. <laughs> now you're talking! There's a bistro on Death Mountain? Tight. Who are you? Oh. Spoon, are you here because you saw that call for applications in the newspaper? You better make sure you're prepared. Ugh. So far, Every single applica applicant has been turned down, including yours truly. If anyone out there could win the favor of the brilliant young mind that's running the project, I'd really like to meet them. Sorry, Spoon. Just give me a chance. What's wrong with Taro? I'm sorry, Taro. You're just not the right one for the job. Come on, don't say that. You've got to let me cast my line in the depths, too. I'm capable of deciphering some Zonai script. Who else can tackle that stuff? Huh. Well, I mean, your skills would be super helpful to me. You're the one in charge of the Zonai survey team, after all. But aren't you heading up to the Ring Ruins investigation in Kakariko Village anyway, Toro? That's where your focus should be. Those fallen ruins are huge and exciting big enough to see from Lookout Landing. So please finish your work there 
before asking to join a new research. Uh, but, but to read first-hand Zonai history, that bait's too juicy to pass up. Taro, Zonai survey team leader. Ah, Swordsman. Uh, someone else is here for the job already? Uh, I guess it's a lost cause. I'll head back to Kakarupa Village and just stare at those ring ruins. <laughs> Taro is an amazing person, and he's a first-rate archaeologist, too. But he loves Zonai research so much, he'll bolt from a project to chase any new discoveries. I've been looking for someone to help with my investigation of the deaths. I mean, you'd be best for the job. I'll help. Thank you. Having you help out is such a relief. We'll explain all the details to you. Come with me. A mystery in the depths. Um... I will be there, but I'm gonna go say hi to Hetsu and give him poop. Hey, buddy! I must dance! There are so many monsters all over these days, so I'm gonna stay here and relax for a while. Oh. Hang on a minute. Do you have a Korok seed? You do? You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children? If you give me Korok seeds, I'll expand the size of your inventory so big, so good. You want more room? <laughs> uh, which stash? Uh, weapon, bow, shield. I'm gonna go shield stash this time. Just because it's getting pretty valuable to put cool stuff on my shields. Oh yeah. Alright, that was one. We'll do one for the bow stash, because that's just one Korok seed. Might as well. See how much it takes for the weapon stash. Three. We got a lot of Koroks. Hopefully he doesn't take off after this. <laughs> weapon stash is now five. Okay, let's do five. Let's do shield again, that should only be two. And then bow should only be two as well. We still have a good healthy amount, as long as he lets us continue. He doesn't go away. Another bow for three, and then we'll just continue with uh, bladed weapons. What a great dance. Now 
Now it's eight. One more, we'll have three full rows. This one's 12. That We're probably gonna stop with this one for now. That leaves us with 16 left. mean to skip but it's already past six and I want to do a little bit more if I can tonight and then bow stash should be at oh yeah okay let's just do the rest bow stash left. Three. Hey. Alright, we did a lot of good progress today, so far. And these, yeah, this inventory space is fantastic. Alright, seven left. Um, can I get another shield? Five, and then bow stash is five as well. So I can only do one more of each. I'll do a shield stash. That way, if I start finding rockets, I can just put them on shields. We did some good work there. Let us change out of our Rito outfit. We're gonna become a traveler again. And let's go see What's going on with the deaths? Joshua. Uh -huh. So, remember that fragment I had? The one that showed a single mysterious figure. I found more fragments among the things our survey team brought back from the deaths. And guess what? They fit together like puzzle pieces. Okay. Ta-da! Just look! Oh. Mm. Feast your eyes on this amazing mural. This scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there, like the one you found me last time. But what really caught my attention is the way they're oriented. Each figure is pointed towards the next one in the series, until it ends with the last statue facing a final destination, a building that looks like a temple. Hmm. Also, those large ears on the figure at the front of the building, that's got to be one of the Zonai. And then that's the and then that's the strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Zonai is doing. Uh huh. So to collect my thoughts on all of this, I'm pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each of those statues down there, you'll reach that structure. I'm also betting that the temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. I heard that the Zonai wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates with those powers. Of course, all of this is still speculation on my part. So, that's where you come in, swordsman. I want you to find the temple structure depicted in the mural. 
Initially, I figured I could go myself, so I gathered a bunch of bright blooms and supplies. Aww. But they pulled the kid card on me and said I couldn't go into the depths. So, here. Times ten. Nice. Uh -huh. You can have these. Nice. Yeah. Bright blooms and arrows are perfect for exploring the depths. There's the added bonus that checking out the depths might provide us with clues to help find Princess Zelda. So, if it all works out, maybe you'll snag some mysterious power for yourself and gain clues about Princess Zelda. Nothing but good things, right? Thanks for your help with this, Swordsman. All right, a mystery in the depths. That might be something that we begin on Tuesday for my stream. Um, for now, though, I would like to try to find at least one more of those geoglyphs. Let's head to the Forgotten Temple and see all the information there. Yeah, maybe now's a good time, uh, or I should say next stream might be a good time to actually put some time into exploring the depths a little bit. I feel like I've been kind of uh, neglecting them. I mean, I only have three of these shrines, and there are so many. And I already have some treasure maps and stuff, too, so... Yeah. Alright, let's head into the map room. I want to have a really good look at it. At the very least, I can work on that shrine. Uh, I'm sorry, I can work on that task that I just got and it will let me maybe play around the depths off stream a little bit. Alright, so the first one we did was this Zonai one. So if we look at the order in which they are around, then if this is number one, then number two is this temple-like glyph, which is here. Okay. Well, let's go to our map. Let's go up. We're going to go ahead and clear this pin. I'm actually going to clear all my pins. I don't need my the, any of these pins right now. They're just a little distracting. Okay, so this one, like, here's... So look at these four lakes in the corner. Which, one, two, three, four. There's one right here. That's the next one to find. After that is a Pura Slate. And that one is here, which is to the east of the castle. The castle's here. There's a little waterway here. Water comes down there. Okay. So there's going to be one around right here. So, I don't know. I say we try to uh, do what we can do, and maybe we can try to do two geoglyphs before we end. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to go use the bathroom again. Uh, it won't be very long. Just give me a second. I'll be right back, guys.
Okay, sorry, buddy. We're back. I am a little closer now towards the area that I think a glyph is. But I'm not really sure. I think it's around here. So we're going to keep looking. As of right now, I feel like I'm pretty close to where it was, but I do not see a glyph. Could it be on the wall? Like, these things are huge, right? I don't know what that green was. That was interesting. Let's get out of this monster camp. I feel like fighting a lot of people. Come along! Maybe down here? I did not see a glyph. Good. Let's at least get to this little island. Looks like there's a Korok here. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Let's 
gotta be here somewhere. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time finding this thing. It's supposed to be like here. Like, am I going, am I going a little crazy that I can't find it? Is it hidden? Am I being a dummy? I could be being a dummy. I often am. We'll use some stamina. It's fine. In fact, I have stamina stuff that I probably just should use. Like a decent amount. Still not seeing it. And I'm over the area it should be. I think. At least we could help this person. I'm alive. Ah. Kathy, you never let your guard down, even around weak enemies. I can tell you're an adept fighter. <laughs> it was destiny that brought us together here, and destiny that I give you this as thanks. Don't fight fate now. Tough pumpkin still, and defense up. That's ah. nice. I'm just a rootless wanderer, going any way the wind blows. And right now, it's blown me into the trail of the great bandit Misko's legendary treasure. I've been following a rumor that One Piece is in a cave near here. Mm. Trouble is, the rumor wasn't totally clear on where the cave was. I traveled a long way, only to come up empty. Maybe I should try searching somewhere else. Mm. 
So the one I want to get to is top left, left, yeah. I feel like it should be right here, but I'm not seeing it. I'm gonna go ahead and just for this for right now, uh, turn on my HUD. It's a little closer to this direction. More up here, maybe? Maybe that's it. I don't know if that's too far, but I think it is. I can't find it. <laughs> I don't want to go to them, like, out of the order that they're presented as, but I'm not finding anything. Hey, there's a Lionel up there. I can cheer myself up and attack a Lionel. Run away. Let's see if this is it over here. Are arrows weaker in this game or something? <laughs> to kill a wolf. Bloop, 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 bloop. Let's uh, give ourselves some hell. We'll do full recovery plus a temporary heart. Why not? Alright. Where was that glyph? It was up on a plateau. I mean, that's the only one that I can see. So I'm going to make for that one. It feels like it's incredibly too far. Yeah, it's all the way down here. It is not the one we're looking for. <laughs> it's it's completely not. Right? Am I crazy? Yeah, that one's way too far. I look at the album. There's that house, I think, that we saved the people from the Boko. That's too far. It's got to be up this direction. And hey, a blood moon! Yay! Let's get as high as we can here. Have a look around. Maybe spy out that Lionel. Yeah. 
I think we can take him. We do have a level 57 blade here that we can use to try to take him out. Um... Yeah, why not? That's why we have powerful weapons, so we can defeat powerful enemies. Let's put down a save. And then uh, we'll also put on this. And is it too cold for two pieces? No, we're good. All right. Give it a shot. I don't know how much they've changed since the last one. But he shouldn't attack me until I threaten him, which I am. Oh yeah, I forgot about my rocket. <laughs> that was rough. Man, I thought that definitely dodged that one. Well, that's why we put a save down. We do not have much uh, in terms of he uh, hearts right now. And I think Lionel's, correct me if I'm wrong, because there's the whole, like, if you're at full hearts and you get one shot, you're never going to completely die. You'll end with one heart. But I think Lionel will supersede that, so. Let's go again. Blood Moon is going right now, isn't it? Yep, here comes the blo Blood Moon. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. more of his like charging run and I was going to be able to flurry rush out of the way but it didn't happen
So, is that doing that damage to me? I didn't realize that's what's happening. Bloodstained moon shines upon the land. Now, I kind of thought the gloom weapon was going to do it to them, but I guess that doesn't make any sense. That happens to Alright, that makes a lot more sense why that weapon was so powerful. Alright, uh, I don't have anything to heal. Gloom, that sucks! Ugh. <laughs> Here, we can do this though. Damn it, you hesitated way too long, buddy. But I got hearts back, though, so that's nice. That restores hearts damage by gloom. Oh. Interesting. I think we got him. Nice. Not super difficult. I feel like the animations are a little bit different. But we got the Lionel Bow, the three shot, that's good. Saber Horn, 22 fuse attack power, wow. Lionel Shield, good stuff. All right, um... Let me see here, what do we got in terms of our weapons? This is pretty cool. Let's get high again, see if we can maybe see the glyph. Unbearable cold. Um, I mean, oh, uh, oh, okay. I think we found it. That was weird. I, I saw that there and I was like, that's strange. Okay, well, we finally found it. We were just always looking from that direction and could not see it. 
So, where is the tier? Here's gonna be like a little puddle. you're here. I didn't see it. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Uh... Ah, here it is. Cool, all right. Let's check out this memory. I thought this is not the world I know whoa yeah a time so far back in the past it's become legend so it's true this is really the era of Hyrule's founding your presence here is just as strange to us Zelda but if you like Sonya have a secret stone and are able to manipulate time then your story makes sense Mm. Oh, I believed her right away. You needed the secret stone as proof, Raru? I can feel your light power within her, as well as my time power. Additionally, I sense that we share a blood connection. Ah, <sighs> uh, I see. In any case, Zelda, you had said that you needed to return to your era as soon as you possibly could. Yes. In my time, something terrible is happening. I need to get back there. But how do I do that? I don't even know how I got here in the first place. <laughs> Now, Zelda, dear, you don't need to solve your problems all at once. Why not come back with us to the castle, hmm? No, I... We'll tell everyone that you're a distant relative of ours. Hmm. <laughs> it is true, after all. We'll get you fresh clothes, Are we too. at the Great Plateau right now? Looks like it. I'm sure an answer will come to you. Wisdom takes time. Time. I don't know what to say. Interesting. Hmm, I wonder. Minoru, she may have some idea of how to get you back to your era. Minoru, you said? Minoru. Yes. She knows far more than anyone about our people. And like us, my older sister has a secret stone. We'll call on her.
Raru's sister? We got that one. Good. Hmm. There's a beacon up there. I'm so curious. I want to go see what it does. Let's go look. And then we'll head towards the other. Uh, glyph that I want to look at. Bantha Village Ruins. Yeah, we rode through here when we were on the way to the uh, Rita Stable. Or I should say the Kazette. Is that just that house that we saw earlier? It might be. Let me look. If not, We'll see what it is. If so, we will teleport closer to where we know the next next geoglyph is. Wisdom takes time. because you noticed my signal fire? It's about time someone did. See, I got spotted by some monsters. Hey, is this the guy that was making his way back? Let me see. Uh... They want to snatch the supplies I collected from Snowfield's stable. Those pests, normally I've dealt with them, but no problem. <clears throat> huh. But against the swarm, there wasn't much I could do but set a signal fire and wait for help to arrive. Sadly, unless you have a pair of wings, I'm not seeing, I doubt you can reach the monsters up there. Mm. I'll just have to hang tight and wait for my friends to notice I'm gone. Uh, this should be fine. We'll just use key size. Oh, and I don't want to use my Lionel bow right now. There we go. Mm. What the? You don't even have wings. How'd you fight monsters so high up? Yeah, who cares? What matters is you did it. Great work. Now I can get those supplies from Snowfield Stable back to my village. Please, let me give you something for your efforts. Ah. Uh, it's less than you deserve, but it's also all I have. 50. Good. Oh. Now, I better deliver these supplies before more monsters show up. Take care. Fly eyeing flyers. Okay. All right. So we need to go to the map. We need to head this direction. So let's go ahead and go to the Skyview Tower at the landing and start heading that way. Yeah, I can really see the glyph from this side. Hmm. <sighs> Storming. Let's go ahead and put on our glider shirt. Oh, you can really see those glyphs there, huh? Alright, I believe we want to be going this way. Yeah, to this blue circle. Where's it at? This way somewhere. There it is. Okay. Oh, I see. 
I need to be doing that. Yep, I see the glyph pretty easily now. Let's head that way. Uh, we might as well just get this shrine while we're heading this direction. We don't need to fly all the way there. Let's see what's going on in this shrine. This is combat training throwing. Okay. This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Aim true and throw the material. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself! the enemy's movements carefully, then throw the material at them. <laughs> you have proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. Chest. The chest has a bomb flower times three. Nice. By a blessing, and we have eight, so we can go to a goddess statue and increase some stamina. That'll be nice. All right, I say we, uh, what we should probably do is find the tower in this region and then from the tower, try to get to the glyph. Let's get ourselves high. And you know what I meant. there for a second, but I can't. One, and last one. It's a cork. There's a talus monster there. That's where we're heading to. There's a tower up there. This seems too far away. Yeah. 
That one is in the region that we're going for, at least. So that's not too bad. And then there's also one there. That's in that far region. Is it this one? Yes, okay. All right, we're gonna head this direction. This guy has a chest. Arrows times three. I think, guys, I think we're going to avoid this Talos monster for right now. That's a lot of business that I do not want to be a part of. So I think we're going to try to go around. In fact, I don't know if it's something I should be doing or not, but I'm going to go ahead and Take two one out of here just in case he aggroes that. We're in a very rocky country now. Let's try a train transverse. We might bring him back out for that gust soon sooner rather than later. Um you've gotta be a core, huh? think about, but does this work? No. Ah! You cannot recall that. That would make that puzzle too simple, I guess. No! I thought I got it! I have to actually press the button, don't I? It's not just touching it. You have to collect it. You can go, Fox. You can go. Let's get to the top of this mountain here. Very rocky. Oh, it's gonna start raining. Great. Here comes the rain. Uh, I've done one dungeon so far. The Wind Temple. And it was incredibly fun. Well, there's a stable down there. Torch's stable. There's a fire wizard. And a great fairy up there. Oh, these guys are just eating. We'll put him out of his misery first.
All right, another stable. The Woodland Stable. Graphs. You're not getting our my bladed rhino beetle, beetle. No, I don't want meat and rice bowl. I'm sure I'm gonna need that to upgrade armor or something later. Hardy lizard might be good to have. I'll buy that too. Look how nice this is. Oh, is this your first time here, mister? Welcome, this is the Woodland Stable. Hey, I gotta go. No. Are you looking for stuff that fell from the sky, too? You don't know? Look up there. There's an island flowing right in the sky. You see it, too, right? Sometimes, when I look at the sky, a big box falls down from that island. Oh, there. Look, look. And that means a sky person's gotta be dropping them. I always knew there was a kingdom in the sky and I have always dreamed of going up there to play with all the sky animals. Aww. But I'm still little, so I'm not allowed to go too far away. I wanna hurry and be all grown up like you, mister. Then I can go up there. Link, why are you still wet? Mm. Ah, that is quite the outfit you've got together. Although perhaps it could be a little more, um, coordinated? That is, a complete set would really work for you. What? Sorry, my eye for fashion can't help but see what it sees. I'm forever tempted by the latest styles. The same is true for my boyfriend. The two of us were going to Goron City to buy their trendy, fire-resistant clothes. Mm. But when we were about to arrive, we got tangled up with some Gorons with strange-looking rocks. I got scared and came back on my own. If you're going to Goron City, then you should be very careful. All right, well, damn. Um, what if I talk to her with a full set of clothing, like the Rito gear? Aww. It's so strange. I thought the Gorons were gentle and kind. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it has something to do with those strangely shaped rocks. I'm glad that my boyfriend, fire resistant. Okay, you don't care that I'm wearing? Okay, I thought, I thought this was a fashion thing. You just care about your boyfriend and Goron rocks. Oh. Hello there, going by your clothes. I take it you're not a member of the survey team. Aww. You're a traveler, aren't you? Have you, by chance, seen anything like a new animal species on your travels? Please tell me you have new, an I mean, sure. Oh, I guess monsters don't count. 
There's a big rumor spreading around the stable association of something I think might be a new animal species. It sounds big and brutal like a bear, and kind of tusky like a rhino. But rumor is that it's not a bear or a rhino. I think it's a lot more than just a rumor though. There's an actual picture of the animal's footprints at one stable. If you see anything like a new animal species in your travels, please, please let me know. New animal species, okay. What's in the paper? Oh. What's the news? Great fairy flees into flower bud. Love of music. Yep, yeah, okay. Mm. When I got here, she was already hidden away in her flower bud. Troubling. Uh, Other stories. Uh. Blood moon brings dangerous nights. Yep. Mm. Uh. Uh. Okay. What else do we have at the stable? Oh, hey, there's a stage. There was somebody that talked about music at a stable. All right, mind going through it all one more time just to make sure I have all the details correct. What happened that night when the great fairy hid herself away? Mm. Well, <laughs> her name's Violin. Well, we had our accident here one awful night, sometime after the upheaval. We saw the great fairy nearby vanish from view. It was troubling somehow. We got in our wagon to go to her. That's when it happened. Mom. Frightful, the whole thing. That's when the woman with blonde hair jumped out in front of us. Our horse bolted away. Off it ran into the night. Mom. But the real tragedy, it did, that involved one of the most crucial members of our troop. Our beloved Breezer. Some of its wheels broke, and now we can't even transport our instruments to performances, or us. Mm. At least no one was hurt. But since that night, the great fairy has been hiding in her bud. She seems afraid of something. No, no. It was that woman, I tell you. She did something to the great fairy. She's a villain twice over. She left the scene of our tragic accident without so much as an apology. Whatever reasons the great fairy has of hiding herself away, we thought a performance would cheer her up. Mm. But with Breezer broken down, we can't transport our small troop or our instruments there. Mm. And the one who calls all this was a blonde haired woman, you say? Hmm. Could that have been? Oh. oh, hello there, partner. Didn't know you were out this way. You have perfect timing, though. Sorry to spring this onto you so suddenly, but we've got a work to do. These fine musicians here are just telling me an interesting tale. Apparently, the great fairy who lives near this stable has shut herself away in her flower bud. Uh, she's up there. Why, you ask? Well, it seems to have something to do with the mysterious blonde-haired woman. Mm. My, reporter, my reporter instincts are calling out. Could this wo mystery woman be her? Could she be Princess Zelda? Oh. Of course, we can't put anything to print until we we're sure it's true. So we have to talk to the great fairy first. Huh. Huh. Asking all the right questions. Good instincts, kid. You'll make a decent reporter yet. Ah. Look way up those hills. See that big plant in the distance? The one that's spouting that pretty stuff? That right there is the flower bud where the great fairy lives. They say she really likes this musical troupe. And that's why she moved near the stable recently. A great fairy who loves this troupe's music performances, that alone is something worth looking into. Oh. We must forget that the great fairy bestows protective blessings on travelers. We mustn't forget. Uh, her presence is essential to the stable. I do hope we, hear, we help her soon. Mm. If only we had a way to reach her. But Breezer is broken and we don't know, and we can't go anywhere without it, not to mention, our horse is gone. We're stuck here. All right, so we'll need to fix that up and take those musicians up to the great fairy. 
We have some wheels here. Let's continue to explore the stable a little bit. I want to make sure... Yeah, we have a dog. We have a guy here. <laughs> and... Oh my god, it's hard. it's weird to see it during the day, but is that Clinton? Cl Cl Clinton? How do you say his name? Alright, let's talk to him. How's a guy supposed to pick a path to Death Mountain? A trek up a mountain could be a red-hot adventure. Uh, if I had a balloon like that one on the other side of the pond, that'd spice things up a bit. Bad chance of that, though. Red hot? What's that? Did the fiery passion of my monologue catch your ear? Well, Red Hot is as Red Hot does, my friend. Oh. So a while back, Death Mountain was super active. We're talking full force, non-stop, red hot lava. But now the lava's all cooled down and hardened. It's even, uh, I hate to say it, made a new road that's easy to walk. Uh. And easy, my friend, is the opposite of red hot lifestyle. <laughs> now, the route going up Death Mountain from Foothill Stable to the east, on the other hand, that's an odd, dangerous road, absolutely crawling with monsters. <laughs> That's what I call red hot. But my muscles aren't exactly ready to take the heat right now, so that makes my decision more complicated. Okay, let's give this good boy some meats. Get some meats, good boy. Eat the rest. We gotta go over there. And there's also a well right here, too. It seems like wells always have something pretty cool in there. Just eat. Just eat quickly. something right here huh thanks puppy all right five right ones. we uh we gotta go over we gotta check out this what well no we gotta shoot this oh there's so much to do Gotta be a cave over here then, right? Oh my god! He's out in daylight! I hope he's okay. You there, traveler! Do you have business in this cave by any chance? I'm sorry to say, but right now it's. Big Brother! He has a brother. Oh my god. What is happening? Colton. It's no use. Colton. Please, it's impossible, absurd even, to try to turn yourself into a legendary creature. A Satori, no less absurd. Oh, yeah, like the Lord of the Mountain. You should be working on the monster collection with me instead of chasing a silly dream like that. <laughs> I will never give it up, Kilton! I've always wanted to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I do not care what it takes. All I needed to do was get my fingers on a bubble gem. Then I sure I'll turn into a Satori. And the rumors are true. There is a creature in the cave called a booble frog, and it glows just like a Satori. Gah, but I didn't think it would be so high up on the wall or run about all nimbly bimbly like that. In that case, little brother, why not get someone to help you catch a booble frog? Yes, yes, do you remember all the treasure you collected? 
You could offer that in trade. The hunt for booble gems. Alright, so that's why I'm killing those magic spirit frogs. Ah. Traveler, did you hear me and my big brother talking? Mm. If I'm going to make my dream come true, I must get my fingers on a booble gem. Mm. Gah, but that booble frog is so very nimbly bimbly and hard to catch. What is your dream? <laughs> You want to hear about my dream? Well, it's really simple, really. I dream of becoming a Satori. You know, the creature of myth. Satori are legendary creatures that have been spotted all over Hyrule. Piercing eyes, bluish white fur. Oh, but I've admired them since I was a wee Colton. And then I read these ancient texts, and they told me how to transform myself. Transform me. Colton into a Satori. For it to work, I must have a booble frog. A strange creature that loves dark caves and glows bluish white like a Satori. Then I have to collect a booble gem, which is a bobble that booble frogs drop when they're feeling weak. That's why I chased after the booble frog lurking in the cave. I wanted to get my fingers on that gem. Ah. But who knew a booble frog could gamble, could gamble like around like that, so nimbly bimbly? Nyagat! I want to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I'll do whatever it takes. Boah, I'm sorry. But that is my wish and my dream and my reason for doing such doings. So, if you get hold of a booble gem, please give it to me. I'll give you a treasure in trade, I swear. Here, take this. It's a booble gem! Mm. Colton, is it the real thing? Mm. That perfect shape in the faint blue glow. <laughs> it's a real booble gem. Real as can be. You did it! Now I can transform into a Satori just like the ones I adore. Thank you so very much. Please take this gifty in return. Whoa, Bacabla mask? Oh, that's sweet. See, I collect all sorts of monstrous treasures, and that is monster parts and goods that make you look like a monster. The mask I gave you was made to look just like a Bacoblin, so much so that even a Bacoblin would take you for one. <laughs> By all means, do try it on. Then you will see what it's like to have a body and heart of a Bacoblin. At last, at last, the time has come. Time to gobble down the Bulbul Gym. Cheers and bottoms up. Oh, he's just gonna eat it. Okay. Go. Uh, my body, it isn't changing, but I, I do feel a strange sensation washing over me. It can only mean one thing. I am on my way to becoming a Satori, and that means more. I need more of them, and I can't just gobble them up one at a time. No, that'll never work. I must collect lots and lots and eat them all at once. And to do that, Hilton, big brother, I have decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. Hmm. I see. Well, it seems you've made up your mind. That being the case, you have my complete support. I hope you collect as many booble gems as you need. Big brother, thank you, thank you. Traveler, I'm grateful for your help, but I've decided to set out on a journey to collect booble gems. Next time you get your fingers on a booble gem, please, please do not. Oh no, please do give it to me. If you do, I'll trade you a gift from my collection of treasures for it. And with that, I hope we meet again sometime. Somewhere. The hunt for booble gems. And then they're gone. Mm. That was a hell of a thing. Off he goes. I do hope he's able to make his dreams come true. Now, I have to be on my way as well. I'll be making the journey to Terrytown in Akala. Hmm. But dear traveler, thank you so much for helping my little brother. 
And though I hate to impose, I do hope that during your travels, you'll find time to assist him further. Mm. I will keep my ears wide open for news of my brother's whereabouts, so visit me in Terrytown if you need help finding him. Yes, yes, I'll be going now. All right, that was a long monologue. And there's a cave there that we're not going to do right this second. We're going to continue on with what we were doing. I might uh, take on that cave um, off stream, maybe. But if I do that, I can go here, delete pin, stamp, and I'll use this as a cave. All right, let's check out this well. See what's down here. No fish. Crazy, or is there just nothing in here? Oh, there's one fish. Generally, wells have more stuff. All right. There's not like a rock wall I can break further, is there? Okay. Nothing good. <laughs> Alright, we're pretty close to this tower. I think we should be able to get to the tower. Oh, we should do the shrine, too. We should be able to get to that tower. Then get to the geoglyph, and that will probably be stream. But who knows how long that will take. Rise and fall. Shield. Cool. We're just going to do this. We're going to grab it. Bring it here. 
that's gonna let us go here. Bring it here. Ah. Let it fall. Recall. Climb up. And there. Not bad. No, I got the chests. We're done. Fun, fun. Light of Blessing. Tower's right there. Let us get there. Probably could have taken up a uh, horse. Save us some time. But first, let's talk to this Gerudo. My poor teeth. Sava Saba. Sava Saba. Are you going to that Goron restaurant? Or perhaps it isn't food you hunger for. Could it be you have an appetite for me? <laughs> Aha, I'm just joking. Please, no need to look so petrified. I just. Tried one of their roasts, and I have to say, it wasn't what I expected, in that I expected it to be edible. What a disappointment. Anyway, I'm sorry for teasing you. Okay, Karsh. Oh, there's another one of those guys there. Uh, let's do this. We're gonna save ourselves a little time. Is that a vertebrae? What is that? Okay. Let's recall this, climb on top, and let it take us real high. High enough where we should be able to, yeah, we'll get on this island. We'll get the Sundalion. We'll get this chest. 
large Zonai charge. We're gonna bring out our Sage of Wind. And we're gonna head this way. Get to this tower. Look at Death Mountain. Crazy. And there's the glyph right there. Okay. Let's get this tower. Elden Canyon. What a bother. Huh? Did you come out to see the Skyview Tower? Sorry, everything around here is a bit of a mess. A big chunk of old ruins fell from the sky and hit the Skyview Tower. It knocked the lid off that covers the hole at the top of the tower. That means the hole at the top is open, and that's not all. After the impact, the door got stuck, too. Let's see, maybe if you used uh, the terminal inside, that would force the door back open. But without a way to get inside, we're kind of stuck. Can't open the door? No? Okay. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Can we go under it? And ascend into it? Doesn't look like it. Damn. So can I not get this tower right now? Maybe I have to go inside? We'll try that. Maybe I need to go high and go from the inside? There's a lot of rocks falling here. Go in from the top. Will that work? It does work! Oh, it's kind of scary! We did it! Sweet! sure you couldn't get the door open without using the terminal. I was right, using the terminal did open the door. Thank you, that was a big help. Oh. Now then, I think I'll take a little break before heading to my next job. Was that your job, to stand there and do nothing, Swanson? Swanson, or Sawson is his name. But with the last three letters like son, he must work for the man, the president.
Elden Canyon, Death Mountain, Hell Towns. And in Sky Islands. Well, we're up here, we might as well check out what's going on on this island. <laughs> My first time seeing one of these. That must extend the life of whatever you're doing. There we go. You found me. Welcome to the world of distraction once more. Put that there. Let's put one of these batteries on. There's a battery. Here's a, I think they're batteries. That's good. This should be a pretty supercharged one. Let's try it out. And before I say something like that, let's save. All right, let's see how fast we go. Cool, we're not consuming any of my battery right now. That gets us up here. No. Okay, I almost lost my rush room. All right, and then we should be able to ascend here.
chest. Sage's Will. The remnants of a former sage's resolve. If you gather four of them and offer them to a goddess statue, you can deepen your connection with the sages. Huh. I wonder if that just increases the amount of time it takes to recharge the ability. I see that happening. I think I can get it. Can I not get on top of this? I don't think I can do it safely. Nope. Can't do it safely. Alright, we'll try to come back for this. This butterfly! Yay! Smother wing. Resistance to flames. Anything else up here I want to get? I need to get over to that shrine there. Huck! <laughs> 
that might be unbalanced, but let's see. What's this one? Water makes a way. Water makes a way. Water. Lava? Water is making the way. <laughs> Strong construct bow. Okay. It is a fire hydrant. Nuts. Never know where you're gonna need a fire hydrant. Um, I imagine we can just keep doing this strategy we have where we just Make a little bit of a conveyor belt, like so. Get on. Keep using recall. And that gets us where we're going. Sweet. And we have a fire hydrant. <laughs> you never know when you need one. Maybe the uh, Zuni machine out there will give us a fire hydrant to bring with us. Put 
these in here, see what we get. <laughs> A big wheel. Cool. A hydrant. Big wheel, big wheel. Fan. Battery, nice. Oh, we got some really good stuff in this one. Let's do that again. There's some good ones here. Shooting in the right direction. It did. Dazzle fruit. Sunderline. I just blew that off there. Um, let me use this. And let me use a different shield. <laughs> Do that a lot. All right. I don't want to lose my stuff. Um. He's good. <laughs> now we gotta be able to find a good way to climb up. That's not. Okay, this should be okay. In this direction. This will take us up here. And then we should be able to just climb the rest of the way. And we're rewarded with a butterfly that's flying just too far away for me to capture it. Come back. What's a good way of getting these down? I mean, they're, they're just apples. There's nothing special. Yeah, see? We're just gonna lose them. Um, we can cut the tree down. Looking for this? No. That's a cave. That's the shrine. Is it this blue pen here? I think it might be. Oh yeah, let's get this chest too. Three, cool. All right, is it 
that one over there? No, it's right below us. We'll get this glyph and we'll probably be done for the day. It's already eight. I've been playing for eight hours today. Yeah, I could also mark this one. All right, where is the dragon tier? Could be in the middle of that circle. Yes, it is. No, nope, it's just a circle. It might be a Korok. It is. Oh, there's one. Okay. It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely oh. not from this era. This is, uh, 
That said, Sister. I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes. Whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it. And that must be where so we got you it really from. Believe my story? Right? That I came from the future. I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru, do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. Hmm. Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. And Sonya, she can control time. As for you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means, if you don't already know how to get yourself home... <sighs> there are stories about the secret stones and a forbidden act called Draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. What? Interesting. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. So you, you think to these wait? stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. Can you change back? Yeah. That is why it is forbidden. Mm. I thought maybe this could lead to a solution. Some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you you. It's not really worth it, yeah. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. <sighs> Back where we started. There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. I'm sure Sonya would be happy to help you. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Draconification. So she would have to wait thousands and thousands of years as a dragon and then she's just a dragon i mean dragons are cool but yeah i'd probably try to find a different way than that <laughs> all right that's some memories right there okay we did a lot of good today in this stream i'm very proud of the work that we put in we took care of the wind temple and the rito people have been saved we got a couple memories, and we're figuring out what Zelda's up to. A lot of good stuff. A lot of progress. Um, so, I think that Tuesday we're going to come back, and we might try out that... Uh, that yeah, that we're going to come back and try out that quest down into the depths. In fact, um, I'm going to go ahead and just fast travel back to the landing and the very last thing we're gonna do is hit up the goddess statue and get some more stamina vessels so we will do that and then we'll end so tuesday at 6 p.m eastern standard time we'll be back i hope you guys are having a great time so far uh watching again the highlights are up on blind wave gaming and we'll do what we can to get the uh the vods of these very long streams up over there as well um but first, let me get into the emergency room where there is a goddess statue. Okay. 
I was like, oh my god, the goddess statue's gone. But that's new. So we might have to figure out what's going on with that next stream. <laughs> so let's go and pray. <laughs> Need to come back to the landing a lot more, too, I suppose. Uh, I don't really want hearts right now. I want more stamina. I want to have at least a whole other stamina wheel before I start giving myself hearts. So, stamina vessel. Or gloom, as I should say now. And one more stamina vessel. Alright, so yeah, we'll be right back uh, on Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, for more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. Uh, have a good night. Have a good Sunday. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.